attachment to the unearth that what I believe is like the renaissance, the ability to sort of create our own destiny. The Renaissance Podcast. Welcome back, guys, to the Renaissance Podcast. You already know who it is, your boy Caesar. Your boy Alex. And my name's Alan Shiner, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we have Alex Rincon again. Welcome back, man. Congrats. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. We haven't seen you since the fight, right? Since your last fight. Yeah, I haven't. Fought. I mean, I've I've oh. seen you in events and stuff that yeah. you had, but like, this is your first part after the fight. Yeah, after the fight. Yeah, because I didn't. Yeah, I had put up a video when I knocked the dude out. Um, man, that that shit did numbers. Y'all <laughs> shared the numbers on yeah. that one. Uh, y'all made a dope after like little edit. Yeah. But uh, it was a badass knockout. Yeah, show. that knockout was crazy. <laughs> Wait, but, this wasn't the fight. I'm a tripping because I lost track of time already. But <laughs> this the one where you fainted at then. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Just had like just an episode. Like, it's some shit that like I've. I guess had, but I didn't know I had. Well, I, it's happened to me before. Oh, but okay. it's just like some stuff that like I just had to go get checked on and okay. stuff like that. Nothing but, crucial. Nah, nothing crucial. It could be, but it's like not. It could be for people who have it bad, but like I got checked and things are good. You know what I'm saying? Like it was scary for a lot of people, but it's weird. It's I guess when you know you're good, you're like I'm all right. Like I remember I told the people in the ring, like I can, I'm I can, good, uh, yeah. I can fight eight rounds right now. I can fight whoever, but yeah. uh. But now, like, it scared a lot of people. It was a little, like, it kind of made me take my, my health more seriously afterwards. Like, you taking it more seriously? Yeah. yeah, yeah That's like, crazy. Like, just more, like, uh, I guess kind of like, all right, go get checkups. Go, mm. go, you know, take it seriously. Cause on the top, like, that's happened mm. before. Like, I, I, fainted, I, I fainted before and I got up and started hitting the bag. Like, yeah. and people are like, what are you doing? But I'm like, I don't know. I just <laughs> don't, I don't, care. I mean, I care, but I don't care, you know? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's just, just uh, you got that mentality to yeah, keep going. No they just keep what. going yeah. no matter what. So, I mean, when that happened, you know, people were worried. And the, but things have been good. I just, I've been trying to just test it. Because, like, I, I think first I was just hyper aware of, like, you know, that. And then, like, I feel a lot of things. But then the more, the less I thought about it, mm -hmm. I was, like, I didn't feel it anymore. Like, at night, I would feel, like, weird heartbeats. All kinds of stuff, bro. But, yeah, like, it's all, uh, sometimes it's mental. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I got sick a while back. And then, uh. Like I, I still thought I was sick, but it was just on my my, my mind making it up. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like, like Damn. you think. It, yeah, now nah, you think you think I read this book, bro. Called I think it was Power Positive Thinking, or, or this other book. I forgot which one it was though. But I think it was Power Positive Thinking. And this guy was like, I guess he locked, got locked into this like fridge thing, but it wasn't even cold. It really wasn't even cold, because you die at a, you know at you get certain whatever <clears throat> temperature and then you can die. But yeah. he was free, like psyching himself out mentally to the point where he like. His body mentally gave out, like yeah. kill himself like, yeah you know because they said like they did the autopsy all kinds of stuff and this is like shows what your mind can do and subconsciously your mind runs on its own right you have these thoughts like what am i thinking yeah. that's yeah. not even your mental thought it's just subconscious but it's sort of like ptsd where like when like that happens to you it's kind of like ptsd pretty much like your you your your mind somehow recreates it like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna happen again even yeah. though like nothing's happening to you. but yeah. i'm glad you're doing better man yeah, i know it's sure. a scary event but at the same time too you i feel like you're, you're gonna prevail and you're gonna yeah. keep pushing and you're gonna go ahead and keep on succeeding man because yeah, that's all sure. you've been doing bro yeah bro winning yeah. hustling bro really like i tell people all the time i just can't you just can't dwell in shit like i really like and i was you know I was some some doctor because you know you go to the doctors and someone says something something you, you stay off the internet because it's really scary bro, you bro. Start, you know? <laughs> everything so, in the internet so not, or everything google yeah. ends up being cancer bro i'm gonna die tomorrow fuck. Yeah. i'm like dog like uh, you know fuck. so i i i looked at things but actually like some of because the, they gave me a diagnosis and then when i when i looked at stuff I was like, okay i started looking at this, okay so it scared me but it it was some of the truth so i was like okay like i got really, but I went to multiple occasions and like one one group of doctors were kind of scaring me and then one was like, it can get, but you're like, well, I'll test you ran, you're good. I'm like, okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Like that kind of had me more peace of mind. It still kind of fucked with me mentally a little bit because I was constantly thinking about it, but it's just crazy, bro. You never, like you could really be, people be like, man, this motherfucker's in shape or da, 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 yeah. he don't yeah. look like he don't eat like shit or nothing, right? But like that type of stuff happens, bro. I, I always like, after that happened, I always, emphasize like man go do a checkup bro like go get go do a random mri for uh especially if you have insurance you know what i'm saying like go get checked up like you just never know bro you really never man, know that's true and i yeah. feel like especially us at at a young age we're like man we're good i feel yeah. good i feel healthy bro. but man well, hey. didn't anthony rumble uh oh yeah he, he passed, he passed away and he was young as fuck too uh, was that? a ufc fighter a ufc uh, fighter. Uh, he, he was young i mean he was in i think he was 38 but what uh, was this from I'm not sure what he died of, bro. Can you look it up real quick? What was his Rumble? name? 
Anthony Rumble Johnson. He he I think he never got to fight with John Jones, right? And that's like they never got to Was fight. it like like party? I think it was or? cancer if I'm sick or oh, something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's young though. Yeah, yeah, he died at yeah, 38. Shit. Like he died at young. Like, Even 50, bro. Him. Like it's still like for you to just die or something. Yeah. Like, 50, like my coach passed away. Damn. Um my for, like a year into my my pro career. Damn. All right, Pete. Yeah, like he 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 had a he passed from like cardiac, like he passed away just from some heart issues. But he had prior like heart stuff, but it was like, you know, 52, but this dude was so like clean and like spiritually healthy, bro. Like he was one of the like he was the it's hard to be a good person nowadays. Like mm-hmm. nowadays it's hard to meet just being if you're good at being a person is like as rare, in my mm-hmm. in my opinion. You know, we yeah. all have skeletons in our closets and shit yeah. like that. That's why I tell people like no one should ever fucking judge anybody, to be honest, because like, yeah. you know, like I understand if you feel some type of way about certain things, that's might be a trigger to you. Whatever. Cool, but like the other day, like for me to like judge you hardcore, like man, I don't fuck with you because you smoke weed. I don't fuck with you because you drink. Like, you yeah. know, like man, if everyone knew the shit that you've done, yeah. I was gonna say me. usually those people are the ones that are with the worst. Yeah, <laughs> shit, because they want to feel like you're worse than me. Yeah, man, yeah, shit like that is like nah, bro. That's not how it works. That's what they like. Say. If God, if Jesus came down right now and God came down and told it like. Psh, but like, yeah, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, those are called event of gods. That's for a reason because we have no control over it. Yeah. You see, that's the one of the main reasons why, you know, I want to stop being, you know, fat. <laughs> I want to lose this uh, beer belly, bro. That dad belly. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm only 24, bro. And you it's already to, hitting. You're Imagine the worst season, bro. I know, right? Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah. just passed. Now we got Christmas, man. New Year's Christmas coming And up. New Year's, bro. Uh, the guy killed the champagne in New Year's, bro. It's going to be tough. <laughs> not have before. You, have, have you already scheduled your next fight or not? Nah. Yet? Sure for something, hopefully next year. Just don't know when, though. Especially with my nephew being born. Just kind of like focusing on that. And I've been kind of like hit the music and I've been I won an award recently for Golden Boy uh, Golden Boy gives like end of the year awards yeah. nice. so they gave me like best behind the mic for commentating because I've commentated for oh, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that too so like it it's like I don't know what it's it is. natural too bro yeah like, it's, like I, I was, was hearing you narrate uh, like uh, which fight was it was recently right the Virgil Virgil Ortiz card yeah and I, fought, or they did the, I did the Facebook card and then the zone one did afterwards right but mm-hmm. um, yeah man I don't know what it is I just it's natural and I'm not afraid to talk on the microphone. Mm. Bro, because especially, the, what was it? It was the zone, right? Uh, the, yeah, it was Facebook it? and then the zone. So it was like Facebook, it was a zone card, but Facebook, Golden Boy, actually Golden Boy on YouTube. They run the fights on YouTube and then it goes to the zone, which is like uh, Land Snake, uh, Sergio Mora, yeah. uh, Chris Mannix, Sanisa will help sometimes. Because some in boxing don't, like, they may know about boxing, but when it's like live action and like yeah. throwing the jabs or you're like calling out what they're doing, yeah, it's yeah. hard, you yeah. know, especially in the moment. Yeah. And like when you were doing it, you're just doing it like like all smooth. Simple, yeah, smooth, just know, reading like it. You, you did it with your it. you did it with your brother, right? I did. No. Yeah, I did it. My first time was with my brother, and that's that's a little trickier because you have three people. Because mm. you have three people trying, so you try not to cross over what they said. Yeah, he might stole what you said, so you might have to find another way either you reiterate it or yeah you gotta yeah, that happens in the podcast yeah. where like yeah. he's, you say what I was about to say and then like, it makes me blank it was yeah like, we got four motherfuckers right now imagine <laughs> but like, but you know, this, it's hard cause like you can edit this right you know like yeah. you're there like you on the fly you can't and plus this is a conversation this, yeah. and you have to have a conversation of what's happening in the ring, the ring so it could change anything so people think it's like it's really to me like and I'm not saying that to be like oh like I'm shit on it but like I'm yeah. confident like I it's not hard for me Mm-hmm. For sure, you know, but especially because I, I see a lot of commentators that like, I don't like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you, you, you know, what I'm saying, you fucking dick ride the hell out of somebody, or you don't you know even know what, what the saying? fuck yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. You don't have to. It's edit definitely that out. not for everyone, man. <laughs> Imagine yeah, it. like what's the name of the Indian dude for the UFC uh, or the Jew? What was it? it? Uh, man, I think I know who you're talking about because I don't really watch the UFC like that, but I think I know who you're talking about. But this, like, you, you can't be biased, bro. Like you can't be biased because now when if, when you're a spectator watching. If you know the person, like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Now you're like, oh, well, this shit, like, they're all going for him. And then, you know, boxing has a reputation of politics and all that stuff. Like, now you're just giving people, now the people at home, like, nah, I don't want to watch this shit. They're just favoring this dude. And like, the first time I commentated, they were saying, like, oh, well, we know who they're going for. Because me and my brother was, this dude was getting, uh, was getting whooped. And we're like, well, fuck, what else can we say? He's getting, he's about to get stopped. It was bad. You know, so. Safe by the bell. You know, but I took that as, like, give me the criticism. And I'm, you know, you can't make everybody happy, but I was like, but I'm going to work on that. So like, even if someone's getting his ass whooped, the man, hey, you know, the so-and-so's guy's got heart. He's still toughing it through, man. Most guys don't, won't last this long. Another guy will take it. So he's got heart. He's got a chin on him, you know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he you. can grow from this fight. 
and move forward. Like you can say that rather than be like, man, this guy's getting a blow. Oh, hold on. you know, like Stop you know, left and right for you sure, know? man. And so, I think that's what it makes Joe Rogan great too, because when you think about it, Joe Rogan is like close, close with like all the UFC fighters. Yeah, but yeah. he's not biased when it comes to narrating. Like, yo, yo, yeah. if you get your ass knocked out, you know, like even yeah, if it's, it's a guy, it is what it is. you just call out what you see, you know. Yeah, so it's like man. that's how that's how was that's what's important. Like Sean Porter being a former world champion, and like he showed me love. He he shot me out on Twitter. I was like, oh, like he's a natural. So hearing that from a former world champion, a yeah. guy who's a commentator, who's commentates on Showtime, like he said, man, this guy can do can do both. Like this guy's good. You know, he's yeah. natural. He has a voice. So I'm like, that I got, I got not one hate comment. It was just yeah, kind of nah, cool like, good, people bro, on the internet talk shit. Bro, so I'm like, okay. damn, it's I'll refreshing, survive. bro. Because honestly, <laughs> when it comes to boxing and like commentators and everything, yeah, I feel like recently it's been declining after like. Max Kellerman is probably Max. to me one of the best ones that, that Max, talks I love about Max boxing. Kellerman. I love man Jim Lampley, bro. Jim Lampley oh, Jim was Lampley, like yeah. such a damn like like a narrate. Like I love, when he would do the um he just was so damn like Wait, who was he with? Was we, HBO. HBO, right. So it was HBO uh, was Roy Prime. Jones at the yeah. time they had like, you know, Harold Letterman, they had um uh, Emmanuel Stewart, but Emmanuel Stewart passed away. Like Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> God, Stephen a. there, bro. He's <laughs> just loud for no reason, bro. He doesn't like, even make sense, bro. He's his our like our yelling is his whisper, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's how loud that motherfucker it is. Takes, it takes are worse than like even me like that. I'm like I may have not that much knowledge in boxing, but yeah, but I'm, I'm some of his takes. I'm like, bro, those are some wild ass takes. Like not even a uh, casual like <laughs> that boy just uh, shooting out. Yeah. He just talks, bro. I'm like, dog. But people like it's it sells, bro. It's like. People love this motherfucker being loud. That's what I was going to say. So you being a professional and then at the same time too, turning over to your, you know, broadcasting and just commentating. Yeah. Imagine if Elon Musk did that, bro. Have you seen how his speeches, bro, they pay him bucks, man. A big bag and uh, in high schools just to be like it with uh, announcing their ceremony and all that crap. And he'd be stuttering everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> he's like a robot, bro. Bro, yeah. he's so bro. weird. He, the way he does his speeches. Uh, last time he was with T-Mobile trying to do a uh, announce uh, Starlink and T-Mobile collab and all that stuff. And like everyone was like, say something like move with the stick. Like he couldn't do anything. So it's, it's definitely not for everyone. But I feel like the ones that are the best are the ones that know what the sport is, know yeah. what they're talking about. If yeah. you don't know, bro, you're going to look dumb. Because there's people that, like there's fighters that, uh, that no, like they can read their IQ might be super high, but you just they just can't talk, bro. Mm -hmm. Communication, they, talk. they, they don't have a wide vocabulary. Yeah. They don't know how to explain. explain Tony things. Romo, he impresses dog, me bro. every time. Yeah, like he, honestly, I have real, like real shit when I'm in that. Like man, like I want to do, I want a Tony Romo call. Like I want to call some shit. And see it. Like, but boxing is so different. Like he sees yeah. a play, he can call a play. Boxing is you got to really read a dude or. You might be like, oh, this guy, he should be getting knocked out with that shot, but maybe that guy might not have that much thump. Like, he might not hit that hard. Like, yeah. if you had more power on it, you know, you might, you know, or set it up better. He that knows shot, it's different know. factors. He'd be doing yeah, some yeah, yeah. voodoo stuff, man. He'd be saying something this and becoming, and it'd be coming, it'd yeah. be happening. It'd be coming to just, life. Because people don't give him the credit that he, you know what I'm saying, he deserved until they're gone. It's like, yeah, right. I was talking about that with my homie, man. Like, you know, like I do, you know, with the music and shit, right? Like, people, only will only really f I guess people have this certain identity of you in all honesty people will only fuck with you for what that main identity is mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. or they'll like if it benefits them like you know I haven't, I haven't fought since that fight right yeah. but in my mind I'm like damn like some of us I'm like I'm not ever gonna fight again like nah I am you know but if I were to stop now let's say I just said man I'm gonna stop I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do music yeah. mm -hmm. you know are you gonna I have people that like, oh at the bar oh it's my boy Ring oh yeah he's a golden boy boxer da, 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 da. but you gonna give are you doing that because I'm the golden boy boxer you know what I'm saying or yeah. are you doing that because it's me you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying so it kind of like that really made me step back from people like the last since my fight really bro yeah. like I just certain people I used to fuck with certain people I'm like it's kind of like and I guess kind of testing it but like yo bro fuck sometimes that works like I'll reach out to you man you don't reach out to me like alright bro I kind of see what that shit is because like People who really want to be a part of your life will be a part of your life. You know Regardless. What I'm you know what I'm saying? No matter what. And like sometimes it's it's timing. You know, I get it. There's people that are like, man, I, hey, bro, I'll fuck with you. I know we haven't seen each other in a minute, but there's some people that it, take, it takes two, first off. But at the same time, it's like life happens. Mm -hmm. Shit happens. But like there's people that you probably haven't talked to in a minute, but y'all go grab dinner. Man, it's shit like, it's like, like we've seen each yeah, other yeah. yesterday, you yeah. know? So like with that, with transferring over to music, my homeboy was saying, his name's uh, Hippie. He was on, the, on his last track I did called Thankful. Um, yeah, that shit was good. Actually, the I heard that chamber. 
Yeah, it's like a little more like a radio song, yeah. but positive message, you know, like just being thankful. We're always talking mm-hmm. a lot of negative yeah. shit going mm-hmm. on. So, you know, uh, still the same timing. album that we talked about last time? Uh, no, it was just a single. It was just a single. single. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, if we're really going to drop it in summer, I was like, man, bro, it's Thanksgiving. Thankful. thankful. Like, let's just do it, Perfect. you know? Yeah. So, we did like a our version of like a God's plan type of thing, mm-hmm. but we went and actually like fed the homeless. We went in and then gave out like gloves, beans, all that stuff, right? Nice. But he's, he's a super positive dude, right? So this might be hopefully because I want to at least announce it, but I have a I have him on a skit on there, so he doesn't know. So if he sees this, like he's gonna know now. But on my project <laughs> drops soon, actually, my project drops real soon. So whatever. But I have he called me, bro, and he like he gave me like this little message. I might even send it to y'all so I can put it on the podcast. But like, yeah, he's just such a bro, super positive dude. I'm like, man, like th- after like on the project, I'm gonna tell you, like, y'all need more hippies in y'all's lives, bro. The Hippie For Chamber. Him. His name's The Hippie Chamber, THC. He's a hella, like, super, like, loves weed, smokes weed, right? But uh, he, um, he just like, yo, bro, I listened to your track, bro. That shit was dope. Keep doing your thing. Start quoting my song. Like, keep going, keep going. Like, yeah. he's just so positive, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, why can't we all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Do that shit for each other. Like, why is it always got to be like, ain't nothing wrong with friendly competition. Like, oh, damn, this dude got 800 views. Well, shit, I'm trying to get 1,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, now I don't know. Hating shit is like, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to compete, you know what yeah. I'm saying, like in a in a good way. But it's like, man, fuck like that shit on deserve right now. Like, nah, bro. Like, don't like, nah, no sour bitter shit. You know what I'm saying? More people are are bitter. Mm-hmm. I'm actually working on a track right now called "Wish You Well." So I don't know if y'all heard that song called uh, I think "Baby Blue" by Chance the Rapper. Yeah, you know, I think I told you about. I think I talked about it last time. I'm not a Chance. No, the we talked about it because I'm a Chance the Rapper fan. Yeah, 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 we talked about that song. Baby yeah. Blue. So that one's like dope because the mm-hmm. concept is like creative. So, but I'm doing the opposite. Because everyone's on the like, man, fuck, fuck that, that bitch. bitch. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, you, you hurt, who hurt you, bro? Who hurt you? <laughs> but like, it's on yeah. some shit like that. But now yeah. I'm like, I'm calling like, wish you well. It's like, now I'm wishing yeah. well. Like, I mentioned something like, man, I hope you like, little things like, yeah. I, I hope you find cash in your pocket you forgot about. Like, that's a good feeling, <laughs> right? Like, shit like that. That's or, such a good feeling, bro. You know? Or yeah. man, I'm uh, every time there's traffic, man, I hope you make it to work on time. Or, yeah. or I hope you win the lottery and don't work no more nine to fives. Like, little things like that. I'm like, I'm trying to throw in there and like, shit like that because everyone's on the bitter shit like let's talk about wishing somebody well but I feel like that's a secret that you, that people don't realize it's a secret yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's what you, the way you move in life it's if you are successful I'm, I promise you, you you're not gonna care if you give a homeless man ten dollars and then it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna come right back to you. It's yeah, gonna come yeah. right back to you. Not yeah. in the form of ten dollars in yeah, a yeah. different type of form. Blessings, bro. It's exactly. Like you, you, you wish well on somebody. Like blessings are. I think it's like without, and especially without the intent of I'm doing this so maybe something can happen. Yeah, you know, good, you know, like, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like, that, that ill intent. Like that. Yeah, no, nah, like wishing somebody well, like you know, and I genuinely would, like people that I don't fuck with no more. Like, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, I do wish you well. Right. Like, you know what but I'm don't, like, don't you think the best music is the negative shit though? <laughs> I was talking to someone about that, bro. About the steam and blow, like that's part one of your you know hardest songs, and it's some negative shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's people... like you know. Well, honestly, what's crazy is like I say some negative shit. We're just talking about like yeah. getting head and all kinds of stuff, right? Hey, Which I mean, like right <laughs> it is what it is, right? <laughs> but, you know, but like, uh, man, head is head is great. <laughs> but, bro, so, you know what I was just talking about with my friend because he was talking about how he got a cramp when he was having sex. <laughs> oh, those and are the worst. Oh, 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 that shit reminded me. I was literally just talking about this uh, like two days, like not like <laughs> barely like an hour ago. You know, like bro, one time I was getting hit, and then like you know how like when it's so good, bro, you put your toe like, start. your toe start, toe start doing gang sign and bro, shit. I started, <laughs> bro, I started getting the crap. I was like, oh, fuck, fuck, and then she's over here thinking she's doing a good job. I'm like, nah, bitch, I can't fuck up. I got a crap. Said, I'm not gonna. Start, she like, like you like that? Like, yeah. hey, hey, like, hell imagine, like that. imagine, bro. I'm not gonna say names, but like imagine if she thinks that you finished, and she's like, oh, that was great, and you're not done. Like, nah, you're you're like dying over here. Can't even stand up. I had to turn like it was like over here. Like, and, uh, like, uh, imagine, imagine like cramps. actually like busting whenever that's happening. Like, oh, oh, no, 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 that would be bad, bro. At that point, you're like, you know what? It's worth it. Right, Keep right. it going. Fucking pain and pleasure, bro. She, she pain probably and told her group chat like, damn, I fucked them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give that, that motherfucker a cramp, man. I made that motherfucker. <laughs> ass. But like on that track though, like we uh, like it, it really talks. Like, I really put people. On, I'm actually talking about real shit, like. I said, like, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Yeah. Right. You know, like, I, I got my homeboy to go, like, sober. Like, 
you know, he and he like not put business out there, like, but he like he was on like heavy shit. But then mm. he's not doing heavy shit anymore. He's just doing, you know, he smokes and shit like that. But mm. like I had him like, it's not sober, but to me it's sober, bro. What the fuck it was, you know what I'm saying? Doing to him, life threatening, you know? Shit. Yes, yeah. bro. Like it was crazy. So shit like that. I'm like, man, if you ever, you know, if you ever picked me up when I was down, you bro for life. Like a lot of shit. But it's it's on a hard beat. And I'm coming hard with it. Yeah. So it might come off like, damn, you know, this motherfucker's in my face with it. But it's really <laughs> like, but there were a lot of things still like that. But like I was telling my boy Hippie about. Man, I swear I have ADHD. It's my mom be going. But, uh, he like uh, he said, man, it's crazy, man. People celebrate your your death before they celebrate your life, bro. Like people like you know, say give me my flowers when I'm alive. Cause I don't know about y'all, bro, but in all honesty, I didn't hear people fucking with takeoff like that. Nah, no, not before you passed away. Yeah. yeah, but like now everyone's dr- like now it's different. If like man, I never listened to this shit. Like mm-hmm. that happened with me with Pop Smoke. I never listened to Pop Smoke. I heard oh, like damn. War or something. I wasn't a big fan of it. It was a good workout song, but I, I just I couldn't. You know, jam a lot. Yeah. But man, like that song, like with, with Carol G, that enjoy yourself, mood swings, like all of them, bro, all that whole track, that whole uh, album, yeah. that shit was fire top to yeah. bottom. But when he passed away, I was like, oh, pop smoke this, pop smoke that. And Young Dolph, Young Dolph was fire already. Everyone was jamming Everyone. Young Dolph, yeah, right? Everybody. But with Takeoff, like, my, like people were, uh, were fucking with, you know, Offset and like Quavo, because, you know, the whole Cardi B thing and Quavo doing. All that, right? But like, when did really people jam take off, bro? So it's like, mm. man, like that shit kind of like it annoys me because I'm like, bro, like, why are you? F- you know, I, I do find it annoying too. It kind of reminds me of when Kobe died. Do you guys remember whenever Kobe died? You know, very sad day. Oh, I still hurt. remember what I was doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was girls Kobe? on, yeah, Kobe. Oh, okay. And whenever the, <laughs> all said that Cody, was, I was like, who the fuck? No, is Cody, <laughs> that boy Cody. All right, no, Cody, man. Did you be onto some bands and shit, bro? But, but that's the music. thing. Whenever Kobe <laughs> died, <laughs> and that's where I was getting at. That's where I was getting at. Whenever Kobe died and all that was going on, <laughs> next thing you know, I see these these girls on Twitter. Uh, R.I.P. Like, to the greatest oh, yeah. rapper ever. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Kobe, the oh greatest rapper God, ever. Bro. You see what I mean? So it's see, like, like people just jumping on the people just jump on the trends, bro. Yeah. Like now y'all just doing that shit. Exactly. Like, but you, you, you always see how on their Instagram their follower count goes up like crazy, mm-hmm. and it's just yeah. like their streams, like okay. yeah. their streams go crazy, right? Or like I don't know, maybe like I'll put an old track on a on a on a, sh- a stream, like a hot trending show mm-hmm. or in a movie. Yeah. The streams went. I forgot what song. Oh no, no, no. when the Super Bowl happened. Yeah. All them tracks like went fucking to the top right, yeah. for a good minute. I seen this thing of the Mar- Mariah Carey. You see, oh, yeah, like yeah. her, she makes like she makes I think seventy two million every year on that track. Off the every Christmas year track? off yeah, of the Christmas, Christmas shit. Yeah. yeah, it's like that's wild. So you know, I'm thankful. Like the message, I, my 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 good friend Derek, um, his son bro is uh fighting. He's he's fighting uh, leukemia cancer, and he's only oh, six years old. So like I've known Derek. I've been personally training Derek. If y'all see my page, I, tr- I have put up a lot of videos of Derek. Derek lost 32 pounds on me in like two months. You yeah. know, two and a half. Man, he was, bro, hitting it. His son was like, his, his, is his biggest motivation to drive. Yeah. And so like, man, he was hitting it every day. And we got really like, I feel like we family because his dad's been my dad's best friend. So when we go to yeah. kids concerts growing up. I was always with his dad. We see yeah. fights. His dad like an uncle almost. So when he told me, I'm like, damn, you know, okay, I want to, you know, I want to give my lifestyle right for my son, for Nino. And then for the longest time, that song, I had dropped a verse before that even, ha- I knew about that. Hippie went in, killed his verse. I'm like, man, I'm going to rewrite my shit. And I was like, man, like, what, what am I thankful? You know, what are we think- thankful for? What? And I thought about Nino. So I shot Nino. I was like, man, this song's for him, bro. Mm. Like, I want him to beat, like, beat cancer. This is for Nino. And it's crazy because, like, someone told me, man, like, sec- my engineer was like, man, sex sells, bro. Like, seen the blow. The video was fire and crazy, like, just crazy in general. Mm-hmm. But, like, the message wasn't. Necessary, not nowhere near like it's not positive in comparison yeah. to that at all. But thankful was like, man, we were feeling homeless. We 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 had we sat and talked with Nino. We kicked it with him. He loves King Von, bro. Like King Von XXX and Sean, whatever. Yeah. He yeah. does not like Six Nine. I'm like, man, I fuck with you. you know? <laughs> he like all these different rappers, like Take Off, some Take Off, yeah. Tupac, and he's only six years old. Man, he was spitting uh one of King Von's songs, word for word, bro. Damn. You know? At six years old. Yeah. But like, yeah. bro, the kid is like, he's a six-year-old kid. And I'm yeah. like, man, I, I put like, hey, man, do this for you. know, donate on GoFundMe. People donated cash and raised good money for him. And like, because he like, he'll have the stack of ones and he'll be like this. <laughs> and so I put that yeah. video up, you know? And it's crazy how people will like, won't go do that, but will go do that. And at yeah. the end of the day, yeah, I know it's my track, but like, man, like, honestly, like, I wish zero, I wish Team to Blow got zero blows and I wish uh, fucking views Tina Blood, uh, zero views, and that had fucking 
a lot more views. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, but that's that's the show business. Yeah, yeah and, and that's unfortunate because, mm-hmm. for example, y'all seen what Balenciaga was out there doing? That, that was just crazy. Oh yeah, I, I didn't re- I didn't even see somebody, but I seen a picture and it gets the kids like holding like some. Nah, yeah. So basically, what they did, that. yeah, they um they had a shitload of well, their whole season came out uh, for this new season or whatever, and they had a lot of photo shoots uh, with models and then some. Well, the first one that was like caught the attention of people was the little kids with the with the with the back yeah, with the bears with the yeah, yeah. with those like, outfits, um and. And then in those outfits, so it kind of made it creepy. Um, and <laughs> oh, so then also uh, they one had, of the one of uh, the papers that had like a date, no? Yeah, it was, so, it was date a, from, uh, so it was a court uh, court uh, session that happened that I think it legalized uh, like the amount of like you don't actually force people like you don't make it illegal to watch like some child type of. Pornography. It was just basically uh, that's what? what I was gonna get at because you know so like they all it was all child exploitation and stuff but exactly so it was just uh, little things little uh, you know people can say oh it was just a teddy bear with you know some uh, yeah, adult yeah, stuff yeah, but yeah. really it was too bad it, it, that's this is it was on, bro, on this top is of that yeah, no yeah, yeah. There, this is another level on top of it they were showing a paperwork within the photo shoot of you know this court case in the Supreme Court that basically made child porn illegal and then there was also some other. Uh, pictures within the same picture of a gentleman that was convicted of you know a child exploitation. So there was all these little tiny little hints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Also, both of this artist that that bro, the fucking drawings he did are fucking wild, bro. It's like kids with like naked and like without without one arm and shit. Exactly. It's so like some shit that motherfuckers sick motherfuckers think. Hey, about you know, it, I and I ain't even religious. That's the crazy thing about it. I I am not religious. I yeah. promise. I'm not out here saying you know follow God, your savior, <laughs> all that crap. This is the, just me nah, saying. This is just some fucked up shit. Bro. No, this is just me <laughs> looking at it. You're just this, like, whoa. Hey, nah, but put him on some Tim for a hat, bro. Like I feel like this is and obviously Andrew Tate talks about it and in, in the fucking Instagram about Satanism. And, like they they show you. What they're doing, so they have uh, the if you ca- ca- pretty much catch them, they're like, oh, well, we were showing you this whole time what we we're doing. I just chose not to see it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bro, and when I think about it, putting my ten four hat, I'm like, bro, like all this shit is so expensive. It's for the elite, you know. What it's do you not, think like, though, like for real, with these people? You think they're like on some shit like that, or you think yeah, they, bro, because they, they do some caught. shit like this because they know we're gonna be talking about it? I think I think it's a lot of that, bro. Because like, man, society is just so fu- like. I saw where, like, for example, uh, what's his name? The coach for the Warriors. I'm going blank. Steve Kerr? Steve, Steve Kerr, yeah. St- Steve Kerr was talking about with those Duvada shooting, right? Remember mm-hmm. that one time he broke down? Yeah. We got to stop doing something. Now, he probably still believes in that, but, like, yeah. see how fast people stop talking about shit? Yeah. You know, it was like, if we really stand by this shit, like, really believe in it and stay with it, you know what I'm saying? Keep the energy. Yeah. That's why I don't talk too much about those type of things, me personally, just because, like, as soon as I stop, it's like, no, 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 I don't not that I don't believe this I don't feel the same yeah. it's just like people stop right so that's how this world works because we're all like this so as soon as Next something week, else yeah, pops it's boom some, it's, it's something else out. like how long are people gonna be stream, uh, streaming takeoff mm. maybe like three more weeks and I bet you in a year nobody's then, gonna forget about Balenciaga already and everybody's gonna go back to yeah. buying this shit yeah. new story every week yeah yes. bro so it's like this world is so fucked up this, man there's fucked up shit going on left and right bro but it's like Okay, yeah, you were saying, oh, that's terrible, but what the fuck are you really doing when yeah. shit's really popping off, when some other shit's fuck, like, fucked up, you know? Like- exactly, and, and you, that's what I was going to say. In the show business, as much as you want to do good, you got to go ahead and then just sneak it in, the good that you're trying to do, yeah, because yeah. it's not going to sell. If you're just yeah, trying to do yeah, yeah. good, it's not going to pop. Yeah. But like if you like the way you did it, you yeah. know, him flexing the, do- the, the dollar bills, mm-hmm. the beautiful. Yeah. He, they don't know it. Yeah, that it was all donated because he's he's fighting yeah. for his life. Exactly, that's a good. Yeah, but yeah. you see what I mean? You know, yeah. now we have this this kid just having thousands of dollars in his head. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To like, others, it's just you know normal. But you see what mm-hmm. I mean? Like yeah, being yeah. in the show business, it's tough. If you have morals, you know it's gonna be even tougher on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, like I saw, I tell people, like you know, I, I see a lot of I don't know. This is my opinion. You know, some guys, I mean, it's fashion, but I'm like. <laughs> I don't know bro When you start doing The music thing Then you start doing the shit Like some people Start going like Extra with the whole Dressing up shit I'm like <laughs> Alright bro I'm gonna just do my thing Like I mm-hmm. even I thought about Going on stage And like wearing my Fucking my athletic joggers And my kicks And like That's Damn. who I am So like do that shit. Why am I gonna yeah. You know what I'm saying Like uh, all that shit So I, I don't I don't feel the need to go like, Man somebody like mm-hmm. Man you see how they get dressed up Like especially the reggaeton like artists But I mean That shit looks cool You know what I'm saying yeah. Don't get me wrong But yeah. they all with it, Big ass shades And they I, ha- I hate Hate 
the fucking uh, snowboarding goggles sideways. Oh, yeah. I hate that shit. I'm like, the fuck you wearing? That shit don't hurt your head, bro. Like, that shit's heavy as fuck. You're not trying to pull up with a shiesty, man? Come on, man. Shiesty, man. Like, you know, they say even with jewelry, like, the chains that the rappers wear, like, as soon as they, they're done with the events or whatever, they take them shits off because they'd be hurting their necks and yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. But for the pictures, it'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. here with Like, them. I'm never like... Uh, bro, uh, even wearing one, like, a dead-ass small one, that should be <laughs> like, like, fuck. Even yeah. the Walmart chains bro, hurt. Bro, goddamn. You know, my boys don't have... <laughs> necks gonna be like this and shit when they're like older, you know? But <laughs> that shit to me is just... Another day it's kind of <laughs> like where the people say, oh, they sell themselves to so like, nah, bro, fuck that shit. Like, yeah. I think that shit's whack, bro. Like, I don't, I don't like that. Like, and I mean, you, know? you see Kim Kardashian too, bro. Like, she cut ties with Kanye about that uh, anti-Semitic stuff, but all this Balenciaga shit that's going on. All she said was like, "I'm gonna figure out, see if I'm still in business with them." I'm like, no, bro, what the on, fuck? Man. Like, so, I, I gotta dude, hear their point now. I gotta hear their point. Like, bro, they literally you, had child yeah. pornography. When it benefits you and shit, shit's all right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying yeah. like, you you gotta be a good balance between you know. Russ the rapper and J. Cole the rapper. You gotta be right in the middle. Cause if you if you too much like Russ, bro, you uh, no hate on you. You, no, you act Russ like you're the realist, but like uh, I don't really listen to like Russ like that. He's a good artist. Nah, he's I, dope. People I like don't him. like him because he's he corny, get, bro. He's really corny. Oh, exactly. he's arrogant too. Like yeah, arrogant and corny. Uh, is he cor- I mean uh, arrogant? <laughs> well, I get I get why he's arrogant. You know, nobody gave him a chance and then he pretty much produced everything. He writes everything he does. And he made it. It's great. And, you know, he's selling 10k or 10,000 people a show compared to the other rappers that are being propelled they're like yeah shut up russ type yeah, shit yeah, yeah. So of i mean course, like you know, you're gonna talk your shit yeah i, I would say like talking shit not i guess delivery is key i always tell people exactly is key, right so now if you're like man like, nah man like i'm doing my thing yeah. bro like i produce my shit these rappers like nothing against certain certain rappers like certain rappers yeah. some of these rappers are I don't know. In my opinion, I'm like, I think we can all agree some rappers are fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so like, but like, yeah, talk your shit. But if you're like, man, I do this shit all the fuck, da da da, y'all ain't got shit on me, da 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 da. Like, that's that's exactly that's why exactly, people hate you on You know what I'm saying? It's all delivery is key. And yeah. I tell people that all the time. Like, I don't know if I said this last time. Was like, people, like I didn't. Me personally, I didn't like the last Drake album. Yeah. I, I never heard CLB? it. The, or the, the uh, what's it called? The, 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 more, the uh, electric. That's more, more or less what the fuck is called. Oh, the, you're the, talking the girl, about the, the girl yeah, in the front? Never mind. With 21 Savage, my yeah. bad. Her loss? Her yeah, loss. that shit. Yeah. You don't like her loss? That shit That shit, good, that shit bro. slap, bro. See, like, I, I don't. Aren't you like the biggest Drake fan? No. Nah, I actually don't. like Drake. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I like Drake, bro. But what like, do you not like about it? The beats just. Okay, for me, bro, I yeah. listen to the beat right away. Okay. And I don't know if it was because of my rock influence growing up. Like, that's yeah. all we listen to. So you hear the drums and the guitar, all that first. So that catches my attention. If, like, when I write songs, if the beat don't hit, Next. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even go into 10 yeah. seconds. I just, next. Yeah, but I if I hear, I'm like, oh, like this shit. Right. Then I start to feel it. Then I start to hum. Then I, you get the words out. But like, there was two songs that I liked. Now, I, I was like, can you do something? That shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went off on that fool, bro. That shit was nah. like, that made the me The WWE laugh. one was funny. <laughs> that, shit was, that shit was so He's bad. never doing another album with bro, Drake. I know. There was one where they did the meme where he's like wearing like a little bonnet on his head. And then he yeah. like, Behind him and shit. Yeah. Like, hey, it man. says he played himself, bro. He posted that picture like a day after he posted the album. Like put in like. Drake oh, know what he's doing like, too. Yeah, bro. come on, bro. He like that. You know he like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like, I like the one called "Hours of Silence," right? Mm. And then "Middle of the Ocean" because that was more like uh, slow intro, type of beat, yeah. outro type of Drake where he's kind of spitting. Like it reminds me of Lemon Pepper freestyle flow, but not mm. with the beat. The obviously completely different beat, yeah. but uh, mm. like. Uh, I like the. More, Have you seen the? If you go to Drake's house, you're going straight up on him, bro. Or are you gonna let him shoot like all oh, the the players? What do you mean? Have you seen that he invites people to play at basketball? basketball at his house? What about uh-huh. And like they always say that every time somebody's guarding him, it looks like oh fuck no, him. I'm gonna body you up, bro. <laughs> 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 fuck. Well, said, bro you, but nah, but they say that like they make fun out in the comments. They're like, yeah, they just like if, you, shoot, nah, yeah. if you if you got him up, you ain't coming back anymore. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here! You block yourself. You fuck out my house. Don't block me. I'm Drake. I feel like the one. One mystery that we got to talk about with Drake is every time he supports a team, they always lose, bro. bro it's like the curse. Bad juju, bro. That motherfucker yeah. just bad juju. Even fighters, too. Like exactly. He's, he's, he's funny like, as fuck. I, I, I'm going to bet 20,000 or 100,000 on this The fighter. curse. <laughs> Fucking loses. The curse does not discriminate on the spur, sport. But no, I mean, I like, I, like, I like Drake. I like the yeah. old Drake. Like I, Everyone likes the old Drake, right? Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people say that. I, I mean, I understand, I guess, the the last one, the fucking electro show, the yeah. house music yeah. one. That wasn't for us. It was more for a different audience, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and he even said in one of the no, lines of the it. song. 
Well, because I like I only music. like like three songs from I like her last music. one. Yeah. Um, the only one I like was uh, Jimmy Cooks. Jimmy Cooks. But mm-hmm. her last one, it just wasn't for me, bro. It's just like, but yeah. that doesn't mean like Drake is trash. But I had a little debate with my boy, right? And I was like, bro, look how many people are on this fucking song. Like, it's like fucking 12 names that are like lyrics yeah. written by shit. Like, you know, that shit look like the Bible, bro. <laughs> like, it was like, dude, 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 dude. yeah, like, yeah. and me, I don't know if it's because of the competitor to me, like with my sport, but I couldn't, I couldn't sit down and, and be proud of my work and be like, man, well, really, bro, I only came up with four bars. Damn. And all these other ones. Like, now it's probably to a point where, a couple homies like, man, oh, use this bar. I'm going to use that line. I'm yeah. going to give you credit for it. But like for you to have 12 of those names, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know there's like some old Sam, like I'm a big Rod Wave fan. Like that's my number one, my favorite artist at least. So like, um, this tour is killing it. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it it's business. So there's going to be so many people yeah, doing like, different types of things. I get that. Like to, but, but like, I feel again, like, but like, like with Drake, he's been out so long. Cause even Kanye, you see that too. Whenever Kanye has songs, yeah. or like you said, so much writers. Yeah. And they've talked about how, like, I think Vori from uh, Meek Mill's camp, like he's yeah. the one making Kanye songs. So he does the reference track. And yeah. then Kanye hears it and then I, all right, I'll do it type shit. But at the yeah. end of the day, I don't care yeah. how many, you know, artists you got, ghostwriters, yeah. it don't matter. You're not going to do it like J. Cole did with that outro song where he was giving credits and it was a song and it was amazing. Yeah. What's the name of the song with J. Cole, bro? bro credits. I fucking, I, I fucking, like J. Cole, a lot of his is J. Cole. Yeah. yeah. It's, Cole, all written, it's all written by J. Yeah, Cole. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. I, I have more respect for artists. Like, now I'm saying that just, I don't respect the other ones. I just I have more because like bro, yeah, I know bro. how hard it is to write. Don't so you think so, those artists sometimes cap in their creativity? Well, well which, like, which artists? Like, the ones like, like, like J Cole. Yeah, like or? J Cole. Let's say all they all say like, uh, especially J Cole songs are like kind of like the baby songs. They all sound the same, you know. And J um, Cole, when you think about it, mm. he's rapping about the same thing in every song about him but like, I feel like it's different like Young like, Dolph, like, like you Young Dolph about. literally raps every song was the same. Get shit. money, <laughs> the snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I feel like. And hip hop is different, like you said. Seeing that person make the the raps and you yeah, know, yeah. this and Cause that, because bro, like, but it's yeah. You might talk about the same shit, but how many different ways can you say it? Because mm, yeah. you have so many songs that probably a million songs talking about a, 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 a breakup. <laughs> how many ways? <laughs> a breakup, right? Yeah. A million fucking Taylor Swift already has a fucking you know every song yeah. of hers is that right? Shout out but Taylor, look, bro, you know? she the goat. That's crazy so, what she's doing. Do you, you know what she's doing? She's re re recording all her all her albums for, the, her, for songs, her masters right for her masters because oh, wow. they bought her masters uh, I think Sco- scooter scooter Braun. scooter Braun has her masters so she can't play anything she can't make any money damn after. so she's re re recording them so now it's legally hers whatever she re recorded is legally hers oh, shit. so whatever's gonna get played now in the in, get. it's it's hers. That's the, that's that's the my girl Tay- Taylor's always switching the game up. Honestly, like, bro, I can't stand her. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't. Like, I can't ever listen to her songs. I get, but I'm I get what you're saying. Whatever she's like, doing is like it's bro. smart. Whatever God, she's doing is smart. Damn. She's like, smart as for that. I, I'll give her credit. But like, like, yeah, yeah, like, was doing but like streamer or <laughs> streaming wise, like Taylor was the one that that complained about it, and then that's why artists get paid more now. And then also. With uh, merchandise and bundles now, like artists are gonna start copying what she did because she did like 1.5 mil the first week. Yeah, that's you what I'm saying. I just like, damn, who? I don't listen to Taylor Swift. So I'm like, damn, who are these fucking people bro, that listen to her? Little you know, white girls, bro. bro <laughs> little white girls, is crazy. I mean, this it's is the same thing as like, who the fuck listens to him? Why does NBA Youngboy has a hundred million? Uh, Views on YouTube, bro. I don't know, bro. The hood wow. guys listen yeah, to them yeah. on their YouTube. You know, That's Taylor true. Swift, I, I've never listened to her, but I can assure you that all these girls that we are, you know, either hooking yeah. up with or we're dating. <laughs> bro, I, I, I'm, I'm, like, no, I, I'm telling you. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm telling <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're I'm, not pointing sure. I'm not bro. pointing fingers. <laughs> But, <laughs> <That fucking> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a good point though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. those girls are listening to her. Yeah. And if you say, That's Oh, you don't like Taylor Swift, next thing you know, you're gonna end up at a Taylor Swift concert. So yeah. best be careful. Um, bro, I've never I've never heard <laughs> dated a girl that doesn't Taylor Swift like, I have, I mean, bro. But yeah. you gotta think you gotta think like fucking uh the US is what, sixty percent white people? Yeah, for That's sure. That's a lot. A lot of kids, a lot of moms that probably like Taylor Swift and shit. And you know what? I feel like that's why Breaking Bad was such a great hit. Keep yeah. in mind, context, The Walking Dead is so popular. AMC is, you know, on, a, you know, on the peak of their, their success. And next thing you know, Breaking Bad comes out. And yeah. look at their characters. A white family, 
cancer, disabled individual, every uh, bro, everything. <laughs> and then we got Truco, <laughs> that's a whole ass Mexican. Hey, fool, what you doing? You know, type of stuff. Yeah. And the next thing you know, you got but girls, drugs, the world. The drugs. The show, exactly. You got drugs. You got being a teacher, bro. You got everything. Cartel, that, you, everyone can relate to that show in one way or another. And that's why I'm saying you're right. It, America is 60% white, yeah. but you got to hit every metric, man. Yeah. And that's yeah, what I'm saying. But, but I think once you get the white audience, bro, you, you, you make you it You got to first. You got to YouTuber, And yeah. the YouTuber bro. that makes it, bro, look, go look at their fans. And Facts, bro, man, bro. I got to follow kids, this bro. dude. I got to follow this kid. So, oh, shit. Yeah, it's this guy. Uh, it's, I follow this account on Instagram called like Stand Up Com or Don't Tell. God damn, I'm calling somebody. Damn, well, who you calling, bro? Fuck, I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. Them hoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was listening. She was having Taylor Swift's uh, head. Let, like, me oh, shit. Let me call but, uh, him. Shit. Let me call him real right? quick. She was Man. on your mind. The shit was on your mind, right. bro. Uh, but you uh, know, you know the one that that broke the mold. And shout out to him, bro. Bad Bunny's breaking that mold. Oh, facts. Because well, everybody, everybody's like, oh, you have to get white America first. And then you'll sell out. You said who said Bad Bunny? I, uh, I said Bad Shit. Bunny is the one, you know, the first freaking album in Spanish to be uh, in the Grammys for record of the year. Yeah, but like us, you know, Latinos, we're out there working, so we gotta listen to something, bro. No, like, yeah. don't <laughs> tell say, he's, he's doing stadiums though. Don't tell not, comedy. Not many artists are doing that. Sam Ike, Sam Ike, Sam, and then I K E. Don't tell comedy. Yeah. So he talks I, about <laughs> bro. This shit is so I can watch this video over and over. So it's funny because you said like, you, you know, you make it in life, right? But like he was talking about 8 Mile. So there's a part where he talks about uh, about 8 Mile and shit. Bro, that skit was This fucking, guy? Oh, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is this? I was about to say, this nah, ain't, this ain't, ain't Simon Hyde. what the fuck you be <laughs> watching? Let's <laughs> <Damn, right? laughs> recent, see recently viewed. Uh, I'm just going to go on YouTube, YouTube dog. Yeah, go on. Cause if you go to Google, 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 Damn. Go down. You, you misspelled his last name. And then... Uh, put 8 Mile after that. Sam Ike and then 8 Mile. All right. There we go. There we go. That's the one. Uh, that shit's hilarious, dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, man. Ah. <laughs> that's that's so true that's rag, bro. <laughs> bro, That reminds me of this meme Of like They were like This is the widest conversation I've seen It was like text messages And then the guy's like What's up bro What you doing He's like Chilling Listening to rap he's Like who you listening to Eminem oh, on Twitter right <laughs> Yeah He's like Eminem He's like Oh I love him Me too And then I'm like Damn bro. <laughs> right. Not but it's so true I, I mean, I've never really un I've seen it that side You yeah, know that yeah, yeah. That perspective but down, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because, like, when you know, you know, when white people see like rap, when they hear rap, what do they think of? They think of stereotypical shit, right? Yeah. But it's like, you know, my, my clientele with like with my training and stuff like that is in, up north, mm -hmm. and it's oh, kind of sure. cool because like a lot of them fuck with it, mm -hmm. you know, because like I personally don't talk about all that shit all the time. Now I'm around the shit, I see it, I've been around it. I, you know what I'm saying? I got yeah. homies that are in that shit. I got people I fuck that I talk to that are in that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't involve myself with it, you know? Right. But I've seen it. I know what it's about. And um, like I and that's why you in certain songs you can hear me talk about certain shit like, man, how does the motherfucker know about that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you know about that? Like, I see <laughs> that's my it, trainer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But <laughs> like, like there's certain people that that'll tell like, damn, like that's just deeper. Da 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 da. Like, yeah. you know. But like that's why, like I said, that's why I, like it feels good to me when people tell me that because I'm like, 
I wrote that. Mm. Or that really happened. That really happened to me. Yeah. Or I've been through that shit before. Whenever the girls start hitting you up about that shit, that feels good. <laughs> that, that's what you're talking about. Speaking <laughs> of that, like on this Friday, I'm dropping a track called uh, "Off Topic." Ooh, like, man. damn, you might you might have another baby. Damn, might have another baby. Whoa. We, we finna you have. Might have. have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Like that shit's like. What? You step in on the key one? Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> so I call it off topic because it's it starts off like I really so I kept the whole rhyme, same yeah. rhyme scheme. So like the whole time I said like possessive, aggressive, like connect all kind like the same scheme. I didn't change up the rhyme. And the starts with like the first four to eight bars are it sounds like I'm just about to spit some real shit. I'm like mm-hmm. talking about people like, man, y'all faker than y'all's chains, pretty much. Like y'all mm-hmm. fake, you know what I'm saying? Got that diamond yeah, chain, like, bro. So so like, yeah. I got the presidential. Like, like, oh, hey, I got the presidential. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I talk about that and then I start talking about like, man, smashing. You know what I'm saying? Smashing mm. people, but like really deep into the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like really yeah. like painting a picture. That's why the cover art is, uh, it's like a, a car window's foggy as fuck and then it says off topic oh. on the window like people fucking on Oh shit. You know? So that's the story behind that. And then like the EP is dropping uh, December 9th December, December 9th, 9th is, a, is a project So it's on the Friday Drop So it's Seven tracks One of one of them is a skit Hit mm-hmm. me um, I might as well Like Because by the time I come out with it It's uh, The first track Is called Pretty Girl Poetry mm-hmm. And then The second track Is called It's a 21 Questions remix So it's like the Like you have the sample of 21 Questions in the back And the whole track I'm like Nice I'm asking questions Like mm-hmm. Question number one Can you tell me What you went to Question number two Tell me what's inside Your mental you know, mm. all kinds of, like just the whole time. Like every now yeah. I'll skip a number, but like I'll rap and I'll, but it'll be a question. And then I'll, oh, question number on say, you ever had some doshe? Da 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 da. Like all kinds of shit. And then uh, Bring Me Back, which is a single I dropped recently. That was on the, on, K, on KNON on 89.3. Okay. That was on the radio. Um, That's the same uh, station as the one with the event, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had that. And then, um, and then right after that, I'm going to put the skit because he quotes that. Then I don't know if y'all heard Candy Rain. Candy Rain from the song? So I sampled From your that. album? Yeah. Oh, Candy Rain is going to be on the song. Uh, okay. It's the album, but I call it Candy Rain. You know, I didn't really have a name for it, but. Oh, you're talking about sample. the OG. The OG song. Nice. So the samples in that. Um, it's a short song. And then like two or two or three tracks on this track. It's, it's pretty short. Then I have um, Candy Rain. Then I have this song called. Oh, then I have uh, Off Topic. And then the last song is called Broken Soul, which is me more like singing on that one. So this is more of like a. Winter time EP, yeah. awesome like Drake shit, right? Like Damn. awesome like old school Drake shit. But I'm excited for this EP because it's cool. Like it, it kind of reminds me of one of my projects I did called Heartless. I was proud of that one because like I kept the whole thing the structured. whole time. Yeah, it was structured. Mm. It stayed to something. And this one's the same thing. And it's kind of I like how because it happened organically, bro. I mm-hmm. never was like I'm gonna do an EP about this and I'm gonna write like it just. Track after track. Damn, together. I already got four tracks. I might as well add another, you know. Damn. Another couple. For sure. So single this Friday, you said? Off topic. And, and then, then December e- 9th, Bring Me Back is the name of the whole project. So it's like, it's very, very reminiscent because the whole track is like me talking on some smooth shit to a female. Yeah. Like Damn, bro. Poetry, all kinds of shit. Do you, hey, you know you'll get, uh, do you think you'll ever get to, to the point where you have to like stop doing music for a while if like the boxing like... It keeps getting to bigger no, stages. I don't think so. Because if anything, like the box is gonna give me, like I'm gonna just buy my own studio. Hey. And then I'm gonna just record more. I'm excited. You know? I'm excited for the album, bro. If yeah. you're telling me it's about like love EP. and and EP. all, you know, you yeah. put the the, the <laughs> hey, that's a cool cover right there yeah. though. Where what you say? Where like it's like oh, that's yeah, that's just for the single. The cover I have for the project is like I was trying to do a deeper look into it, but it was like me on a car window and like rain drops on it. Because uh, everyone that some of my homies I leaked it to. They like call they call it raindrops. I mean, you gotta drop that raindrops, bro. Like <laughs> that shit hard. You talking about like fuck, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. that sex shit, guys like think about all them like like fucking birthday sex and all them songs. Like dudes love that shit too. Cause exactly, they, you know that's bro, the shit. You hey, know? you know what? This is gonna be the biggest test of that song. Then that you're gonna uh, drop if it uh, can convince someone to do anal, a girl to do anal. If it cannot convince, fireplace, put it on, Alexi. If it cannot convince a girl to do anal, I well, can't like pull a it out. Fucking, what was that shit called? A butt plug and shit? Hell yeah. <laughs> anal bees. <laughs> <laughs> we always go as far left with this shit. This shit had nothing to do with hey, anal, you bro. You know what, bro? <laughs> hey, I, I hope and pray that song good, bro. Oh, uh, shit. Hey, no, nah, that song, like, like, there's a certain part that, like, my homeboy Richie was in the studio with me. 
I just and go one to ten. How much did it make a girl do? You know, bro. One to eight. Probably eight and a half. Eight and a half, bro. I hope and pray, bro. It just depends on her, right? You might put it in. A girl might be like, ah, what are you doing? A good girl might be like, whoa, wrong hole. Hell yeah, right. Is What's she, up with that obsession, bro? With that girl? When when are you gonna uh, hit her up? When are you gonna DM her, bro? Bro, she's like, so she's this fitness. Uh, people are like, who is her? Like, who is mm. she? Whatever, whatever. And so I'm like, man, hey, like, because that's reachable for you, dog. Like, you everyone know everyone you? says that, bro. But nah, Ooh. bro. I trying to. I just I just don't do the. Mo- I just do it. Just honestly, I did it just because at first, and then I saw how people were reacting to it. And I just do it yeah. for people's entertainment. Uh, I'm just yeah. like. People like, bro, I get so many people like laugh reacting at this shit. And they're like, bro, you wild. And I have like a friend of mine. She's always like, you wish you were this, huh? And I'm like, I was going to say that, but I try to keep it less than that. Right. But, but now, man, I just, I'm just like attracted to her. You know, <laughs> this girl right yes. here. Well, fuck. This one right here. Yeah, that's my story. <laughs> hey, yeah. you know what, man? I'm not going to say anything because you probably love her, bro. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything on that one, bro. That's all love. Yeah. Nah, man, but congrats, man. I really am excited for your uh, drops that are about to happen. Um, what's the... What's the... I don't know. I was going to ask you about some posts, but I forgot about that, bro. To be honest. I, I lost... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can, if you remember and shit. But, oh, that's dope that you're working, though, because usually December, lots of artists, they're just like... They just chill. Yeah. But I think that's the best time. End of the year, end it with a bang. Yeah. And then, like, my goal next year, I'm going to try to the drop... Bills double, that's why, right, bro. I huh? the presents you got to pay and stuff. You say what? <laughs> I said them bills. It's because you got a lot of artists chill. It's like, them bills double. Yeah, they, bro. They, and then, on top of that, like, the, like uh, man, really, like, projects are so fucking... Um, I kind of laugh because that video was funny in my story. Because <laughs> <laughs> this old lady saying some wild shit. Yeah. But, uh... But now, like, it's just expensive, bro. It's like, damn, like, yeah, you know, all the beats. If you, especially if you buy all that at once, I try, like, I did really good financially on this one to like really structure it out. Like, all right, I'm a, I'm a record this shit. The good thing is, I, I, I knew I was gonna do this project in the summertime. Yeah, so I'm like, I bet I got plenty of time. Yeah, like, I'm gonna just, oh, they started adding up, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy this beat when I'm done with the track. The next time I'm gonna buy the beat when I come in next, I'm right, to two hours. Cause like it gets expensive, bro. Like, re- like they're just recording, and then shit, you might have to re-record a track like fucking mm. three, four times. Like, damn, man. Like, if I would have just had this shit right the first time, but yeah, you always want to let that shit happen. You never want to force it. You know what I'm saying? But like, man, I'm excited for this project because like I said I think it's gonna be a good way to end it. Like, people love Bring Me Back, bro. Like, I was really proud of that project because it was just super dope. Like, I think it was really reminiscent. Like, some of the tracks I sound like, damn, that shit was low-key. like kind of. And I don't know, like uh, arrogant shit, like like Russ, but like it was on some yeah. like, man, I'm fucking, I, fuck, I, that was a hard ass bar. Fuck anybody said like a dope line. I said Popular something like, shit, my boy. Yeah, but like, here's the you thing, think though. Be, you think it'd be arrogant that uh, you would come out with your own music, like at, in the ring? Oh, oh, I've done that before. You done that before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, man, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Been there, I've done been, that. I've been done that. Yeah, <laughs> I fought in the Ryan Garcia car. He fought Luke Campbell at the American Airlines Center. I came out, but it was an old song called "Don't Know Us." And I was like, "Damn, I really don't have a selection." But I had a lot of shit in the vault. Yeah, yeah. Like, damn, I wish I had more. My brother was trying to come out when I fought in Cali. He was trying to come out a song called uh, "No." He fought after me in San Antonio. He uh, was gonna do a song called "Can't Hang with Us," and mm-hmm. they weren't like someone was tripping. The whole DJ girl was tripping, so I was like, "Man, that's because I fucked up when I uploaded it. I put that it. Was, I forgot to change that it wasn't explicit. I, it was, you know." So oh, it was okay. a radio edit. She's like, "There's no. I'm gonna know there is a radio edit. Just go to the single, not mm-hmm. the project, not the full album." And I was like, damn, but like, I have some homeboy, like, man, some, it's cool because like, it's dope when people really fuck with your music, like know your words and shit. Like, it's a song, like I said, Raw Wave is one of my like favorite, it's my favorite artist. A song called Mixed Emotions. And that was just like, I was really going through shit at that time. Mm. So I recorded that You be really that sad one. then, bro, because Rod Wave, that's all he does. Yeah. You get right. your feelings, Whenever bro. like, I listen to Rod Wave, like, or a beat, I try to find, because I love his beats, man. Like, he's just so dope. But like, you cannot listen to Rod Wave beat and not do Rod Wave on that beat. Like you, mm-hmm. you do the same yeah. melody, same like every, the way you punch in. He has the yeah. same it's producer. The same. I think so. No, nah. he does different ones. He does find different artists. Like I find some producers that he finds on, I guess, on YouTube and Yo. shit that I find. I'm like, damn, like shit. It's like I've had a lot of DMac on the track. That's a popular producer. I've I've done a lot, like like four songs of that. Nice. To his, you but, know what album I'm looking forward to, bro? It's the Metro Boomin. No, I heard that's right. gonna be hard, bro. No, Have you seen know. a promotion yet? You mm. never listened to Prep Metro Boom Man? The only people I listen to, bro, are like, I it's to just because of his beats, bro. Metro Boomin. His Boomin's beats are fire, bro. Metro, Metro Boomin. Is one of those um, guys that... this song, this dude named uh, MK. That's the dude that did uh, Steam to Blow. Yeah. Um, I love this guy named 10 or 1080 Pale or Pale 1080. He's a, like, I do a lot of, because he does a lot of Drake songs. But those are ones that I can, like, really vibe to. I always, like, it just comes to me, bro. Like, it's easy. He's one of those, to be honest, to me, Metro Boomin, like, bro, yeah, like, look at the go, go to Metro Boomin's Instagram page. 
his promotion towards his album is fucking crazy. Like yeah. he made like a Marvel type, type of oh, shit. intro. That's dope. And then and like, then that's one is like a Batman. Bro, is like that's that's what's crazy. Like, that would catch people's eye, bro. Like that creativity. Uh-huh. Hopefully in the future you get to work with him, bro, because he's one of those guys that bro. You got the bottom? Metro's goaded, bro. Bro, yeah. It's just. I want to say I did see that. Yeah, yeah, It's basically yeah, yeah. like a movie trailer. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Trailer. And you got, what's the name? Morgan Freeman and that shit? Yep. Yeah. That's wild, There's bro. There's another one. It's a Marvel one, too, I think. But was that off a of scene or he got him in that? Like for No, that? he recorded it. Like, oh, he, what? He, That's like, he fucking He hired wild. everybody. Like, That's fucking dope, bro. Look at the Go Get Out of There. Look at the Marvel one. I think it's the... Probably this I think one. it's the first one. Oh, uh, first one? This one right here? The first one here. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's a clean shot, man. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's just his creative, bro. Like, but I'm saying he's one of those producers that I, if he gets into film, he's gonna go beyond being just a music bro. producer, bro. Like this, like because he has bro. them them sounds that he has, bro. Like to make beats, it's like that. He's that got, genuine, like it's like he's got a ear for that shit. Go hard, bro. Like, Hell yeah, bro. Like you, you can't help but fucking damn. Yeah, like Bobby had that when is this album gonna drop? I want to say December 9th as well. Oh, you got competition. I think he pushed it back because of uh, the Drake one. Uh, shit, I dropped on the fuck. I dropped Bring Me Back when Drake dropped his shit. Everyone was like, damn, this motherfucker bold. Why you dropping one Drake? I'm like, <laughs> bro, that's my luck, bro. I, every time I dropped, there's exactly. always a I think last time we dropped before too, uh, what was it? I think it was another fucking Drake yeah. one. I think it was the uh, the <laughs> damn hurt the CLB. The CLB. I think it's certified lover boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm like motherfuckers. Yeah, because yeah, I was telling people, like, man, stop bumping this shit. Bump my shit. <laughs> you know? But see, hey, but I, I because of her loss, I really it made me appreciate certified lover boy even more. Mm. Like I like certified lover. Like it had to grow on me though. At yeah. first I was like, eh. I'm telling you, her loss is gonna grow on you, bro. Nah. <laughs> I don't even listen to it, bro. If I listen to it, maybe, but I don't even listen to you're it. Because you don't to like it. it, but then you like one of them. Then you're like, then, oh yeah, shit, yeah, let's go yeah. hard. Let me listen. Like, to Rich it. Flag is kind of like it. Kind, that one kind of grew a little bit, but uh, first time, I'm like, I just can't. I just, 21, honestly, I feel like ruined it for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. he didn't go off. On, like I told people this, all, like every time I talk about this shit, I was like, if you had the J Cole 21 Savage, mm-hmm. that motherfucker go off. So mm-hmm. you're now, the only beats. one I've been listening to is Brent, bro, Brent Feist. Fire, yeah. That's the, that's the only guy, vibes, bro. That shit's bro. Too, tox- too toxic. Yeah, bro. yeah. <laughs> too toxic. Like, bro, I listen to his music, bro, and that shit makes me wild, wild out, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Especially so, like, the motherfucking shit he says. I'm like, damn, let me hit up this bitch. You get different <laughs> vibes. <laughs> you get different vibes with different albums. So, yeah, in your yeah. case, your album is more like uh, reminiscent. 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 Like, like, honestly, bro, like, if you think about it, like, kind of like put yourself in the, like, in the, in the lens of seeing, like, all right, I'm about to, like, I'm hollering at a girl. Or mm. I'm trying to, like, spit at a chick. Or, yeah. like, Bring me back, like it was on really. I went back, like man, like on some stuff, man. Bring me back, and then I made like you know some like, uh, com- or what's it called, like a uh, you know metaphor, entendre, whatever the fuck. Um, where I said like, uh, so it's more like uh, it's giving you vibes of like you know being in a relationship and all that stuff, yeah, right? Or, or, or just bring me back to like, yeah, like damn, bring me back to that time we was together type shit. Like mm. I said, uh, like some clothes that didn't fit you right the way you bring me back, like clothes on. Damn. You bring me back, you you know on some Wait. shit like that, you <laughs> know. So so who hurt you then? <laughs> too many to name, bro. Nah, damn, too many bro. To too many to name. Nah, I was in, I was in a long <laughs> relationship at one point. You're sweating a little bit now, bro. <laughs> hey, all, now bro. this is what you're trying to do, man. It, it, it's almost Christmas, so you say, you know what? If yeah. I don't have a good Christmas, you not having a good Christmas. Let's <laughs> <Right. laughs> nah, hear the you Mars. Right. You know why? Right. He's asking these questions. He got right. that psychiatrist uh, sweater, bro. Nah, yeah, you yeah, see, I'm trying to figure it out. Everything, bro. Go, go like this. I'm trying to figure it out because you know what you say. You know what? It's it's Christmas. I mean, who dropped it? I tell people too, like you have to go in a creative space, right? Yeah. You have to kind of like dig, go back into the past sometimes and dig into some shit because like. I'm not even, I'm like not going through that right now, but like I got, I went back and I'm like, damn, when I was in a moment, like, damn, what, how did I feel? Or like, what was I feeling? Or what was I thinking? And you'd um, be amazed. A lot of people were feeling the same way that you were feeling, yeah, but it's a yeah. whole different conversation, whole different yeah. girl, whole different situation. Yeah. But it really like, even I, I, I was using that, bring me back. That was going on my mind the whole time. So I was like, bring me back. What do I think about? I said something about, I said something about happy days. Go, you bring me back to my Fonzie. I'm on my happy mm. days. People, a lot of people don't. Some people watch happy days. Some didn't. And I said, like, uh, 
you like a mixture of, of uh, Dirty Diana mixed with some Billie Jean. Girl, you got me walking on the moon if you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. On some shit like that. Like that. That's, I was just going reminisce of like, yeah. happy days. I talked about like Obi-Wan. I talked about Star Wars and Obi-Wan. Right all it. kinds of shit. You know, like just shit that just brings you back. You know For what I'm sure, saying? Yeah. I could have gone more with it, but I'm like, I'm not going to force it. You know, I'm going to talk about personally reminiscive. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about like, we've all probably been like scrolling through pictures before in the gallery. Right? What you still have in the pictures of the gallery and shit back with somebody. Oh yeah. You know, you I see, talked about that. Do you guys do that? Okay, so question then. A lot of girls... I never delete my shit. That's so. what I was about to say. A lot of girls delete their photos you know their situation ship it's over delete 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 right on Next, their social media uh, on their social media yeah. on their phone but us guys I don't I don't really go back and look at my photos and be like oh yeah great times well, you I know? clear my shit I think my shit's like <laughs> exactly I don't, delete, like, I don't delete nothing bro. I don't like no if it comes across like okay for me uh, like if it come across like it would be it would have to be memories because I don't have any pictures right so. so like memories or like your stories like uh, I guess Snapchat has them too or your Facebook yeah. like that's there. There's times that that shit will happen. Like with relationship, I was in like in fucking in 2014. Right, you know exactly. I got twenty thousand like, photos, bro. All hosts, bro. 20, yeah. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> all right. so it's like it's it's just a hassle just to go all the way and then just. Yeah. It's not even yeah, about the bro. hassle. It's it's that it doesn't bother you mentally that you know what? Let yeah. me delete this because it's such a burden in my mind that nah, I have I this, like oh, this girl in my phone. Yeah, you know? it's only girls because they get emotionally. They yeah. Yeah. emotional. They overthink the shit. It's like. Bro, I just don't have, I just have the picture in here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or I don't, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really gotten the time to do it. But it's like, you know, like it's just, because sometimes it's some shit, that, that could be, yeah, that could be really bad for some. Now, if I'm like holding all these pictures on my phone, like don't delete, I can't delete these. Like that's fucking nah, weird. Right, right yeah. exactly. But like, you know, I see them, okay, like. Oh shit, oh, let me was, delete it. Right. You know, oh, that might've been yeah. a good time. That might've been a good memory in the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't all keep, if we did have shit on our phone, we don't keep the times like, oh, that day was a fucking bad day. Fuck that day. Delete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if you had bad memories stuck in your phone, you wouldn't have them hoes. You know what right. I'm saying? Like you would have, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it comes across Most of the times we're taking pictures not in a uh, bad day shit. It's yeah. Shit that yeah, yeah it's, all, it's always day. on some good shit, but it's like, that's again reason why like I've done rev- reminiscent stuff a lot, which is right. kind of what I go to because that's the type of person I can be sometimes. Like I just think back to a lot of things mm-hmm. in the past. Just think about I just reflect. More make than sure anything. that Rod Wave would make you reflect, bro, with the music. If you listen <laughs> to Rod Wave, yeah, all Rod the time, Wave, bro, then, like yeah. pain. his last project wasn't he actually. Mm. He said he's gonna try to stay away from that, right? Yeah. His last project he did, uh, Ju- Jupiter's Diary. It, honest, like and it, people are like, man, you just Rod Wave, man, you fucking like all this music, nah, bro. I only like the first four tracks. And two of them were really good. Jupiter's yeah. Diary, and then um, wasn't there a meme broke, of broke like, my heart? Wasn't there a meme of like guys that listen to Rod Wave or Rod Wave made famous or something? Someone said like Rod is, Wave yeah. ain't fat. He's just filled with pain. There was a video where someone threw chips at him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was just a smooth shit. That was oh just, that my was god, funny. that is funny. You know, because some a, a, a bigger dude would probably take offense. Man, fuck y'all throwing chips in yeah. there. I'm <laughs> take my later. Yeah. Why are you searching <laughs> Broadway media? Oh shit, my bad, bro. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, like a track I did by him. Like I, I actually use his kind of talking back to like artists that use other samples and stuff. That's why some of them put. Uh, I see like uh, Rod Wave has. Samples of old songs like um, old country shit, right? Yeah. yeah. So he'll put um their names on that as credit, yeah. Because he'll sing some of their melodies. Now he doesn't sing. The whole, he's like done that. Was it Hey There, Delilah? He did yeah. that to us, one song called I forgot the name of the song, but um I don't know what you're talking about. By my side, he did one called By My Side, and he did like uh, oh, by your side. Or he's by very knowledgeable yeah, yeah, yeah. in music too, because I've seen a interview a lot, him where like he was singing like a, a random ass country music song. He was singing like Adele one time. Day. He was singing Adele and he was like, man, I sing that with my daughter in front of my daughters and they, and they just look at me and they they'll stop everything. They just stare at me. I mean, like, his vocals are crazy. He has, bro, real good vocals. Yeah. Like he can't do like that hype. Now he ain't on no Bruno nah. Mars shit. Nah. But, <laughs> but he has a really good voice, bro. Yeah. Like Would he, you ever collab with him? Fuck yeah, bro. He said, yeah. yeah, yeah dog. Bring that like, pain over here, bro. bro like, <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, the pain. I, I'm going to this concert um, next, uh, is it two weeks, I think, or next, whatever. December the, yeah. or something. Yeah. Who's yeah. having him? I think he's in Fort Worth now. Oh, oh yeah, Dickie's Arena. Dickie's Arena. Oh, it's Smooth Vega or is that somebody else? Oh, no, nah, somebody else. Uh, just Smooth Vega, like, I'm, yeah, I met him, so I'm connected yeah. with him. He actually FaceTimed me today because he's in Amarillo with, I think, one of his artists. So I'm performing on her show, XB Valentine. Oh, yeah. I'm performing on her show January 6th in Fort Worth. Oh, the, nice. Think, the the Post at River East, I think it was called, in Fort Worth. That's the one the we went venue. to? That's what we went to? More than likely. The Post mm-hmm. at River East. It's a good venue. It's a nice little venue. They have indoor and outdoor. Um, and man, I think nah, he saw different. me perform at that show and he just, he gave me my props. And sometimes I'm like, man, like, 
Because whenever, I mean, that show, they didn't have like big, like good sound quality stuff. So it was hard to hear myself. That's one thing when you're up there, it's hard to hear yourself. Because yeah. I felt like I was like, I was like, man, was I screaming? I didn't. But those type of performances are really good to like uh, try songs out. So one song I performed at this little small gathering one time. I was like, okay, Peace of My Natural, not a performance song. It's a deep song, but not a performance song. Mm. Um, I get what you're saying. I, I have this song called Truth to Speak Freestyle. That's that's a um, that's a song I'm releasing next year. And that, that's when I performed that night. And I had said a line that people were like, oh shit, like <laughs> everyone was feeling it. I was going ham, but I never performed it. So mm. I was like, I had to find my voice. Like, cause I'm a little melodic on there. Um, cause this one part where I like, kind of like hum, sing, like kind of sing and speak. I was like, give me time to use my mind. But then, then, I, then I started, but I, I couldn't do it on the vocals because mm -hmm. the performance. So yeah. I had to learn like, damn, okay, this one, I, I got to learn how to do it. It's not the same in the studio because you, you fucking cough in the studio. That's just loud as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and that's the one thing I do enjoy about Smooth Vega. You know, he gives people a shot. Oh, and, bro, like, and that's the people. one thing that people need, yeah. a shot to learn, yeah. to grow, and to just evolve. And here in Dallas, you know, we're growing. You yeah, know, we're and he's, evolving. And he's, you know, he's from forward, right? Exactly. And it's funny because like, I know where he's like Diamond Hill area, he, he would always push, right? Or he pushes, right? Yeah, I'm trying to bring him um, to the podcast soon. Because he, um, I, he faced on me today because that's some dude I know from boxing back in the day. He was a part of the Golden Gloves Texas team and we fought in Vegas, the Nationals. And he was mm. a part of my team. He fought like at 132. He's like, man, he's I'm, like, over 132. Here. I'm over here. Amar Amarillo, <laughs> da, 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 da. And man, you know this guy? I'm like, oh, shoot, what up, Bobo? Fucking, yeah. we started chopping it up. Like, man, what you He said, man, your music sound dope, bro. Keep doing it. He said, man, he said, if you know the ring going, bro, he said, man, I kind of, I kind of know this guy FaceTime and shit, <laughs> but like smooth is Vegas is man. Like, so shout out to Vega, bro. Like he's, he's just a good dude in general. He like, I've had a sit down conversation with him and he genuinely like actually wants, cause you know, some yeah. people are like, man, does this guy really want to wish people or is he getting something? That, nah, bro. He genuinely he fucks wants people, to, yeah. to help you out. Or like, if he sees something in you, he'll, cause he's not going to wait, you know, if you don't, if you don't see something in you, like, come on, man, it's business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's about to say it's about business. So and, like, and that's where we're at right now here in Fort Worth slash Dallas. That's where we're trying to do, you know? Like, Fort Worth, but that's, Fort Worth. that's what I mean. That <laughs> yeah. It's it's all over there. You, you, yeah. you gotta, you gotta yeah. bring it over here. Yeah. You, you gotta grow. And, yeah, and bro. you'd be surprised. How many... I mean, we're all one. I mean, I know people say like, oh, Dallas, Fort Worth, like, yeah, fuck each other, but it's a whole match. DFW, bro, DFW, yeah. like, XB is a great artist, man. Cause I don't really listen to a lot of female artists. And I told him and, and her engineer, Chico, shout out to Chico too. Um, Did she perform that day there or no? At, she performed No no not there She performed at uh, Cash Page's thing um, At her performance So I went there To go support uh, XB And I wanted to see Cash Page um, But I, had, I told XB too like, Hey like yo Your performance is dope She does really good interaction He helps too Because he's back there Like emceeing the whole thing And doing a conversation thing And the fans get involved mm -hmm. um, Really good crowd interaction Is important I feel like um, and then on top of that, like she just she can rap, she can flow, <laughs> she got a, she got swagger to her, she's got yeah. really good. Um, and I like that because like a lot of female artists be talking about like, oh, eat my ass, eat my pussy, da 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 da, you know, <laughs> shit. On, on some shit that he likes. <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he likes shit. I love those artists. You thought I was feeling you, hey. <laughs> but like you know, because a lot of girls try to be like Meg Thee Stallion, or they try yeah. to be like they try to be like Cardi B or Nicki Minaj. They try too hard to do that because yeah. like man, that's what sells. They go for like, nah, just be you. And XB like she can she can flow. You know, she mm. she has really nice flow, good style. She has a really good voice. Um, and Vega, like he and he also is helping the Latino artists too. You yeah. Know? So the fact that he works with people like that, with West Side Boogie, with Jordan Lucas, with XB, with all these people, and like the fact that he he messaged me after that performance was like, hey bro, like you kill that shit. And I'm like, man, I ain't, I'm I'm bro. Even after when I knock somebody out after a fight, B minus. Mm. Mm. I could have done better. I shouldn't have done this. Da da da. I, I, I look at the whole picture because how are you gonna get better if you always look at? Oh, I knocked him out. Yeah. Shit, I'm cold. Like, nah, that yeah. ain't gonna help. You, <laughs> you know. But like when I was on style, like, man, I wanted to move more, but that location was hard to move because we didn't really have a stage. It was yeah. Just, and most people were here, so I'm like, well, I ain't, people are over here. I ain't gonna be like, who's over there? Everyone's here, so I'm gonna interact on this side. I wanted to have more movement. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta have that. But I was pretty much stuck in one spot because there wasn't a stage. Mm -hmm. But I was being hard on myself. Like, man, I should have been a little more fluid. Now, granted, I was like super sore. I didn't have a drink at all that day. I had one shot, but that was nothing. <laughs> Not enough. You know? <laughs> yeah. But I don't like to drink, like, you know, to have to get on stage. Like, no. I, don't, I don't have a problem talking in front of people. It's at just all. like moving and feeling. But when I see people feeling like that energy starts to come out of me, I'm like, when, like after a scene of blow, I perform scene of blow, that's when everyone started to kind of pick up. Because I perform yeah. a freestyle, mm -hmm. but. There weren't a lot of Latinos in there, so I was like, that was a bad <laughs> choice. And then Steven yeah. Blow, be like, damn, the motherfucker actually going hard. And then I did Eyes Closed Freestyle, and that was deeper. 
Then I went to truth, and then I went to truth to speak, and they're like, "Damn, this motherfucker really like spitting," you know. Yeah. So again, like Vegas, just like a dude that's just trying to create opportunities. For and sure. Back. You know, I forgot, I forgot he came to right. He the, came. Uh, he did an event with uh, a different pod that we uh, we we work with and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Vegas is he's obviously very well connected, man. And he's he like you said, he's really tapped in with everything, <laughs> everything, bro. Shit, he's always interviewing. Yeah. Shit, Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, yeah. all, Rikishi, all them dudes. And, and, and like, th those are just friends, just like how, for example, you and us, yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, I mean. Bro. So that's what we're trying to do. At the end of the day, Dallas, you know, so much potential. Yeah. So much. And I, and I, like, I like, I'm real selective on when I work with artists too, because kind of like, I kind of made me think of a thought when you said that, but it's talking about other artists. Like, I've only, I've only worked with certain artists that I, one, I think are dope. Mm -hmm. Two, like, I actually personally, like, I, I like you. You're a good person. Right. I, I don't have anything bad with you. Eventually, maybe down the road, I'm like, oh, man, maybe yeah. colors came out. But mm -hmm. in the moment, all right, I fuck with you. This is artist named Blocka. Blocka's motherfucker can rap, bro. I've seen the <laughs> motherfucker rap. We're going to the club one day. We're going to 3606. And boy, T, uh, hey, yo, Blocka, like, you know, spit that shit. You know, and most people are like, pause real quick. Well, what I'm doing right now, people won't do this. They won't give other artists credit and talk about it. They want to be like, yo, hey, you know, man, it's about me. Hey, now, fuck, I'm not talking about him right now. It's Main my, character my type of vibes. So, like, yeah, fuck that. So, Blocker, like, mm -hmm. Blocker can fucking spew on the way. Hey, spit that one verse. Put a beat on. Bro, off the top of his fucking head. He reminds me of a little Snoop in a way. Mm. Um, and then, like, I did Hippie. Hippie's just a positive motherfucker, bro. I love being around Hippie, bro. Hippie. I've done Lucci's, my boy. That dude is just my homie, bro. I was on FaceTime yeah. with him like all day. They're just cracking jokes and shit. So those are, I fuck with people like that. You know what I'm saying? But I can't, I can't really work with you if I, if I feel like, man, I don't know. Like if you start to, if, if I start to see you get a little arrogant, I kind of like, cause I, I've been in a room with someone where it's like, they get, when I'm my shit, so I'm high for my, or just how I'm high for your shit, you get high for my shit too, bro. Mm, yeah. But when you in there like, man, my shit ain't on yet, bro. <laughs> and then when they go, yeah, bro, fuck with me, bro. You know, like, because yeah. at the same time, too, you yeah. want to be in the, with the crowd that's going to be like, you know what, you fucking up. Don't do that or yeah, do yeah, this yeah. instead. Just not even the, you aren't, I'm not saying like you should take uh, advice because advice, it's always, uh, you know, ill intent at times. Yeah. Hit or with miss the, too. Right, you know, exactly. Miss. But you always want to have a, a crowd where, you know, they can, you can hear yeah, and yeah. you trust. Yeah. And, and then at the same time too. too. Yeah. Genuine. Genuine. And like, right. cause I don't, I don't, I don't, now nah, I'm not asking, I don't want fucking yes men around me. I hate that shit. Yeah. You know, I hate having yes men. Right? When people are around yes men and they think that's cool, I'm like, bro, these motherfuckers are And it's a feeling, you. like you said, like you kind of tell when it's you, so yeah. oh, Energy's that's a easy. real thing, bro. Yeah. I tell people energy's a real you, fucking thing, You know why it's so easy though? Cause it's, it's you being in a situation that you, you've already experienced with someone. So if it's not matching that, it's easy. It's not yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if it's not that, it's, it's not it. Yeah. So we've had other artists come here, you know, huge artists or, <laughs> or, or, or small little artists. But at the end of the day, you can sense the same thing. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah, because someone like, they love to be in the spotlight. They're like, man, like, I, I feel sometimes they put the character when the camera's on. Like, oh yeah, like it's, I talk to you, I talk to my homies. You know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. I don't get. Because yeah. sometimes I'll see some people. In, in nah, where, bro, you be telling yeah, us everything behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like <laughs> mostly, like most people, like honestly, the heart shit. You know the LeBron, I don't, they don't with me. Uh, the capping. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of told him that. This uh, is, uh, or he'd be like this. He's like, this nah. Have you seen? <laughs> the, have you, you haven't seen the memes of him? <laughs> uh -uh. About like how he? Well, he, I think he got people started calling him out after the takeoff thing. About how he said that uh, he was like, listening to him back in the day, like in uh, his first year in Miami, when his first year in Miami, the Amigos weren't even like together famous. and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they came out like the year after. Mm. And, and nah, but I feel like, like that's just him being old, bro. You know, no, but that's just him. They, 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 they just started pulling up with like a bunch of all these like compilations, oh, yeah. of, all these yeah. compilations of him lying about something. And it's like, um, he's just a, a cycle. Uh, what is but it? But that's what uh, he's saying. Like, sometimes, like, man, like, you might get cut off on what you say. That's kind of like, I try not to say too much about certain things. Cause, yeah. like, like, well, you said that one time. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's one that's LeBron true. thing. That's one <laughs> LeBron. Like, he always tries to be the, the center of attention, bro. Yeah. And it's like, that's why I tell you, man, the loudest person in the room is usually the last person you want to hear speak, bro. Because one of always has a book so and it's always in the loud. first page. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's never passed that. <laughs> bro, they hold him whatever yeah. they told him. Like, uh, so what you learn in that book? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, first page. Yeah, yeah, like, I, 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 know, like, I know bullshit. This was when a I great, great author. Yeah. <laughs> what was it about? Nah, it's not important. Read it. I don't want to ruin it. Read it. What was it about? One time he said something about the God. Oh, I don't know if he quoted something or he said about how the Godfather was his favorite. The Godfather 
Godfather movies were his favorite movies. <laughs> and then Which the reporter one? asked him, was like, what was your favorite scene from that movie? <laughs> they be holding and then, it. And, then, and, then, and then LeBron just like, bro, I can't name it right now. The whole movie was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro, this is amazing. Fucking straight Catherine, dog. He never saw that movie. He know. just... For some no, reason, you know, it's funny because you ever you ever have somebody so you I don't know why you do it. I thought everyone does this. Someone said like, "You ever seen that?" And just yeah, either because yeah, yeah, yeah. you never heard, you didn't hear what they said, or you just like because you kind of don't want to. For yeah. some reason, you don't want to say no. You're like, yeah, yeah, and they look at you like they know you just <laughs> lie. They know you lie. Like, you know, that's bro. One of my friends, like, and I've been knowing him for years. Like, he's been, I've been knowing him since first grade. You know, yeah. so like he knows when I'm capping. So like he always calls me out on that shit. Yeah. He's always like. Bro, like no, you haven't. What is it? And then he'll tell, and then he'll make me explain to him. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. fuck, like yeah, I really yeah. die. I don't know. Nah, I have a homeboy. I have a couple of homeboys like that. One homeboy, especially like, <laughs> yeah, told me. But something. since they know you for forever, bro. Oh, so bro. Like, well, this dude I know him. He was at the same box tournament from the other dude, right? Yeah. This in 2014. Yeah, 2014. And yeah, we went to the tournament together. And I know, him for, bro. He's like my brother, bro. So I was like, he had said something to me, and I was asking about something in his life, right? I was like, man, da da da. da. It was nah. This is happening. And I'm like. Boy, shut the fuck up. I started laughing. <laughs> he's like, all right, bro. Okay, I'm not, you know. Then he started telling me, you know, everything else. And I'm like, bro, you think I'm fucking dumb, bro? Like, I know you, bro. Yeah. Like, you're, like, you're like my brother. Like, so it's just funny how that shit be happening. What do you but think you're talking to, It bro? makes me laugh, though, because it's like, bro, I know you. Yeah. But um, sometimes, it's, at my people, we don't even know. Have you seen that? Or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. yeah. No, that shit was good. It was crazy. Not <laughs> you know, for real. That's all I say. I be doing that mainly with customers, bro. Like, on my actual <laughs> job, I be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't even know what the fuck they said, bro. Like, straight up. Because I'm yeah. trying to just get the sale. Get the the sale up, I'm bro. trying to get the sale, bro. Up. Hell yeah, man. Bro, no, we doing that. You do that. You do that. <laughs> bro, yes. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> right before you go, you know? <laughs> so you go, you know, yeah. somebody. <laughs> bro, I almost no. got in trouble. I almost yeah. got in trouble recently because I have a tendency of putting it on mute and then just say, just say you broke already, bro, and hang up. And then, oh. and then I said that, but I forgot to mute it, dog. And I was like, oh, fuck. I just hung up. I'm like, Damn, oh. too embarrassed. <laughs> to nah, I'm man. Too embarrassed to even bro. go back. Nah, that shit <laughs> happened to me before, too. You got to like, be like fuck. Leonardo, bro. You got to be like Leonardo DiCaprio on that movie. Uh, Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street, Wolf of Wall yeah, Street yeah. man, exactly, bro. He goes like this. He's trying to get the sale. Uh, yeah, he puts like, it yeah. under, and then he <laughs> goes, "Bro, he gets that sale, man." Yeah, yeah. That's the greatest feeling. Bro, I ever. love that movie, bro. That movie, fucking that's a good like, ass movie. Love yeah, that movie. movie. Wolf, Wolf of Wall, Wall Street. Wall that shit was Wolf funny. Wall I was so heated, bro. Like two things I'll tell you. Like when I see award shows, two times I got heated. One time I got heated because Taylor Swift won. Like the weekend should have won Beauty Behind the Madness, in my opinion. In my opinion, <laughs> when he did uh what's the song? Uh, I can't feel my face. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, he ended up winning something that year, but still. But not and then, um, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't get a uh, he didn't Oscar. get an uh, Oscar. I'm like, bro, for Wolf of Wall Street, you fucking yeah. kidding me? Right. They gave it to like I think Moonlight. Yeah. Or something. I'm like, what the nah, fuck? It was something else. I don't know. It was some shit that did not deserve it over the, over that because that he did yeah. that Quaalude scene. That Quaalude scene was fucking crazy. Like yeah. you gotta pick. I tell people like this: when you see someone acting, you picture yourself trying to do that, bro. Like, nah, I'd be like, nah, bro, I'm sorry. I just can't do that shit. Make me cringe if I try to do that scene, you know? Have you seen the one that went I mean, that, that was a running joke Dallas, no, for the longest. Like, Dallas Buyers Club, that's who. That's what won instead of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. But Dallas Buyers Club that was kind of good. good. That, really that good, was good, bro. though. That one's really no, good, not as good as DiCaprio, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling who you. Won it? Who won it? The movie? Who what was an actor? No, the, the actor. Uh, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, yeah, bro. Yeah. He's a good actor on that he's one. He's a great bro. actor, but I didn't think he's exactly, bro. You gotta yeah, watch yeah. at least Wolf of Wall Street. Because he's the one he won. Oh, but have you seen? Have you seen that Club? Huh? Revenant, no. the Revenant. That's uh, the one he won on, I think, the Revenant. Yeah, but I haven't but even, I didn't even see the, the Revenant. Yeah, I didn't even what the watch fuck? that movie. The one I did not watch. That, that's kind of how Will Smith too. Like that. That's been a running joke. Like Leo didn't get a freaking Academy Award for the longest. And then, like you said, the movie that he gets it for, you're like, what the fuck? I mean, I heard the Revenant is really good, but. Is Wait, more, look up the like runner. What, what movies? I maybe have seen it. Oh, it's like some I, I wilderness stuff. It. All I remember is a bear. Oh, like yeah, in the, the one that he gets fucked by the bear. Yeah, some shit like that. <laughs> Bro, the, that, the bear the revenant? Yeah, yeah, like he's boxing I think, the bear. He's boxing oh, the I bear think and he got... raped him. Nah, so, bro. Bro. nah <laughs> maybe it was a meme on that. You got the wrong one. You watch animal porn and shit. You watch animal porn. Fucking furry got that. Oh, what? Goddamn furry. It probably looks like he's fucking him, but he's probably. 
shit, they blowing out the car. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah, yeah, see, like the little pixels and shit. <laughs> 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 like they blew <laughs> <laughs> They, they blurred out and shit. They got the blur in the <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Bro, that yeah, ass. Shit, funny as fuck. <laughs> Why do they have that shit? Why does Japanese porn have that blurriness, bro? <laughs> bro, it's like like random you. as fuck. But I gotta, I gotta show y'all this. Some dude, it nah, was like, no, this shit was on like, show us, bro. On Instagram or Twitter, bro. It was like this, oh, this Asian movie, and yeah. this dude is like fucking this Asian girl from behind. Like, yeah, he's like, no, he's like mission, or holding her like this, her legs around, her face up. Okay, da, 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 da. and then he like throws her, God like damn. says her flying. <laughs> Grabs her his hair, or her hair, or something like that. Whips it, grabs her by like the hair wraps around. He has long hair, I guess. Yeah. Wraps around her leg, snatches her back, <laughs> boom, right here, and just starts hitting it. Yeah, Wait, you talking about anime or the real? No, life? real life. That's God a real damn. thing. <laughs> yeah. No, that didn't like you know what I'm saying. But yeah. that was like a real person movie. What hey, the fuck? Bro. Some guys are into that shit, bro. They be saying like, "Oh, you got you got to warm me up for the porn, bro. I gotta <laughs> know the whole life damn. story of them, and then how they <laughs> have sex and shit." Into anything, bro. <laughs> 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 Uh, like uh, I saw a tweet recently, uh, recently that somebody tweeted was like I finally finished Pornhub <laughs> 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 I was like damn nigga. I was like what the fuck for real oh, that's funny as fuck <laughs> when you're on page 367 and your mom's not calling you like fuck ya salta del baño ya acabate de bañar that shit is funny as fuck finally finished Pornhub he finished Pornhub oh man that's hilarious I know what y'all talking about <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm like, that shit, you, you that shit fucking killed me, bro. <laughs> the pixels and shit. It looks like you're right. Like the pixels, like right by his dick area. Like, just blurring that shit out. Oh my god! Uh, you thought I was feeling you. That's hey. That's what that's what porn is telling us. Are you on that 300 page? <laughs> Some guy tweeted out uh, the day too. Also, I, I was fucking funny. I was like, I finally found my favorite porn video from like seven years ago. <laughs> oh, for real? I'll be back. I'll be back. That's <laughs> that's right. Right. Yeah. Oh. Dude, I was like, I felt that shit. I was like, damn, bro. Oh like, I saw this shit when I was like 12, 13. My recommend looking ass got there. <laughs> but you know what's funny? It's like, I seen this <laughs> on oh, Hall Pass. <laughs> That movie is so funny, but it was like oh, when he, uh, yeah, he talked story. about <laughs> you know he's like his wife's trying to get the hall pass, and he goes outside. He's like, oh, oh honey, I forgot to take out the trash. So he goes, that motherfucker starts beating me in the car and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I was like, how'd you get your hall pass? He's like, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but he even said like, man, has, I think it was in that movie. Just saying, man, who would have known like we're married this fucking many years old and we like watch porn and masturbate? Like, I think that's just kind of like people think is like really. As you get older, you realize how normal that shit is, in my yeah. opinion. You know, some people are like, oh, like pornography is the devil. And da, mm. da. I'm like, y'all the same motherfuckers involved in the church doing all kinds of shit. I know, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro. I think there's some, some, anything to an overextent type shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, because there's motherfuckers they don't do shit all day, just fucking right. jack off. Like, no, that's a, that's a yeah, wild yeah, yeah. shit. Like, well, you, you can start shooting blanks and shit. God damn. You know? <laughs> but, shooting bro, blanks. Like, that shit's just fucking funny to me, though. Cause, uh, like, them, them memes are like, Every dude can relate. Yeah, like bro. you know, like Every J Cole really. that track, the Wet Dreams. Yeah, every fucking dude can relate to that shit, True. bro. True. You know them lines. That's why people be like, "Damn!" Like you know, but that shit's fucking. Take them memes, them porn out memes. Them motherfuckers <laughs> are funny as fuck, bro. Like it was one that I, it was just like some shit on on Instagram. It was like the dude like pulling up a, a van pulled up to him and they were talking with you hey da da yeah. and then someone was like wrong answers only. What is he like? What what are they you know? What's he about to do or some shit? And some people just put dumb ass comments and shit. The comments on Instagram be killing me, bro. Hell yeah, bro, Instagram man. and Twitter, bro. I've seen the the one of like only real ones know about is is that I think it's like a I don't know if it's a Popeyes spot or whatever. That that girl she's out there like you know in the cashier area and shit. Uh-huh. And it's like, bro, only real ones know the that that one. Yeah, I don't. Um, know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, don't, I, I didn't get to pay three. I didn't get to pay three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that black girl, she's like that. With the, the cash to see it. We have to, I Damn, bro. Yeah, I, I know the, yeah, I'm a, I'm I know the couch. I, I know the, <laughs> the couch. That's yeah, all I couch. know. <laughs> the couch. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit's fucking hilarious. That important them porn hub means. Fucking... But I forgot to ask y'all about the World Cup too. Oh my Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we're, we're, talking the, like, we're talking about uh-huh. who y'all got? Who y'all got? Brazil's been my team. I mean, yeah. I, I, Shut Mexico, up, bro. that's my. No, it's not. Me- Mexico, because <laughs> yeah. I'm Mexican. Last time I checked, you was rapping Mexico, man. Brazil, baby. Nah, hey, nah, but nah. I'm, I'm not. Asking, I'm not uh, talking about that. Well, the or team's too, but I'm talking about like the corporations about where, like what, like how all this shit about how they can't wear like the LGBTQ. All the armband and shit. 
Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, bro. How they like to me? It's crazy that they they like they're hosting a in a country where uh, the LGBT it's illegal to be gay, pretty much. But, but like, they're finding Mexico for a homophobic uh, uh, scream. Or, oh, you know, they're doing that still. Yeah, they still the find, they they find them in the World Cup. They find them the, for the saying, Mexico team. Yeah, they find them for saying culero to the ref and shit. Supposedly it's a homophobic. Slur bro, it's like. Shit. Exactly, so that's fucking dumb. Even the e puto, it's not a homophobic. For even for a Mexican, you know, yeah, yeah. like you don't nah. like for a gay person, you don't even call them that. Nah. Like even though Max. it translates to that, yeah, yeah. For us call calling another guy that, or fucking yeah, yeah, whatever, you yeah. know. But like, nah. And then it's like, God, man, that's so fucking soft, nah, bro. So and that's that's the that the one thing that pisses me off is not even like the okay, if, maybe if it's illegal in Qatar and stuff, like we'll respect the rules and everything, and that's cool, right? Yeah. But the the two to the two face part where it's like you're hosting a you're hosting a World Cup in a country where it's illegal, but yet you find a national team for yeah, saying yeah, a homophobic yeah. slur. But even though literally being it and making it illegal is way worse than yeah, saying exactly. something homophobic. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, this is a fact though. FIFA is the world's most corrupt organization. They I mean, get right admit, to see who. I mean, it's. I very, mean, Qatar. They already came out the the new Netflix series about like how he exactly regrets, uh, Russia too. Have, I think it's right. very simple. They're supposed to be you know sixteen uh, members. Regrets what? Huh? Regrets what? You oh, said, oh, I said regrets, I uh, regrets uh, uh, getting the money from Qatar to host the World Cup. Exactly. So like the oh. person, the previous president was corrupt as fuck. Like he was getting money on the side to like from the Russian choose, Russian World Cup. Well, for the for Russia, both the Qatar Russia one. and Qatar, and then there the one that got canceled that is now the U.S. Mexico. It was, I think, another country. I think so. That's it was, was another Middle East country, but it was like it's to the point where it's like uh, they couldn't have it there because there was a war going on there. There uh, used to be a, so. a system where every country that is a part of the FIFA, you know, so football organization, they had a vote. And they would vote on who would, you know, host the, the nice. World Cup. Yeah, yeah. But then it turned into like a member of only 16, a 16 council. And that's whenever the corruption started. Where Because all the 16 motherfuckers were Where money. they wanted. Yeah, yeah. Because, and it's not just them know, 16. Then there comes the, the trail of people that work under them. Right. Like goes into, because all the 16 members is from like every continent of the FIFA. Like mm -hmm. FIFA and the CONCACAF, which is North America, yeah, yeah, yeah. Central America. Exactly. Bor, and you have South all America. of these, you know, countries buying these boats and obviously which country is going to win the authoritarian countries who have the most the money, money. Yeah. exactly like i was talking yeah. about like, Qatar, that's what yeah. Qatar Qatar is like, bro, I, I told my boys like, man i don't know what it is but I, like this is the first world cup where i really got like a lot of like I don't vibes of like nobody cares like just kind of like uh nah it's like the calls they're making and shit just seems like off bro like i don't know i don't know yeah, man. Like this like shit looks so yeah this shit just bought out mm -hmm. like the call, some of the like calls they make and shit, and shit yeah. like that. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? Like, I, I don't know. I just see it. I don't mind you know? it because Mexico is trash. So it's like, I they fired even... the guy, right? Oh, they're they're gonna so... fire him after the good man. Like, bro, but they have such a fucking turnaround. Like, they, I, I, I don't, know, I can't even tell you. Like, I feel like we've been through more, more. They have had more coaches than we've had. Like, or, like Mexico, <laughs> it's not, bro. Mexico, it's corrupt as much as FIFA, bro. Like the, <laughs> yeah. the right now, whoever's the president of Mexico, John De Luisa. He's as corrupt as it come, bro. Like he picks his friends to run the the, the organization. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They pick their friends instead of picking somebody that actually is knowledgeable. Yeah, it's all, it's all like once when you're when you're at a point where the money is involved and all that shit, and you get to a higher power. That's where all the corruption happens. Like that's why like that shit happened that Jeffrey Epstein, all the motherfucking celebrities that are involved. Like if you notice those all those type of things when the money. Well, his involved. shit never got exposed. Like that list that they have of of the plane. It's just that, a small one. Of the people that are coming in and out, like all the people that he wrote down, yeah. that list was never exposed. Like the the government chose not to expose. Not it. the full one. And yep. why they chose not to expose it is because there's a shitload of government officials in that. Yeah, shit. exactly. Yeah. They're so, not gonna expose their own people. Bro, I was talking to my my boy about this, and this is like he was saying, it's crazy because I think he said supposedly like Trump was saying something about like he's gonna give like drug dealers a death penalty or some shit. Or something like that, right? Along the lines of that. I don't don't quote me on that, but that's right. what I was told. And then, <laughs> no, Trump did say that shit. Oh, so he did. Yeah. Okay, okay. Was wild yeah. So he had said that, but like, how come? How come you don't hear them saying shit about doing that to like child molesters, people that yeah. rape, you know, rape you know young kids and stuff like that, rape women or shit like that? Like, so how come that's never a topic of conversation? Yeah. But that was also because let's be real, bro. Those motherfuckers are the ones that are involved with that shit. That Jeff Epstein shit. They're the yeah. ones that are involved in that, but they don't bring that up because like. Nah, because how many of them are the ones like fucking chief no weed all the fucking time? Like they don't stop probably what they do. They probably Facts. do other shit. They do. They're too, they do. bro. They're so rich. Imagine like 
They literally have money that nothing else can buy and with their money. So exactly. Like, they find ways to like pretty much have fun and shit and they start <laughs> getting weird. But they also shit. like yeah. blackmail the the people that are could, yeah. that could do something. Yeah, yeah exactly. So they just you know what's my biggest pet peeve is the people that don't believe it, that it's true. It's like, bro, like, do you not know people? Like, once you like reach a certain amount of power and money, it's yeah. like there's nothing else to please you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Cause like you you start doing shit and they start people start kind of like they start taking tabs on you, bro, and they start seeing that, and then they use that shit on you. Like, hey, man, you got to do this, or this is going to happen. But, you know, and it, and it just fucking, sometimes, especially in the government shit, exactly. that shit's so fucking, you know, every, not one government, bro, is fucking not corrupt. Everything yeah. is, right? Shit with money, shit with power, because everyone wants that shit. Once you get up there, mm-hmm. you get money hungry, you get possessive. That's why they say, like, the people that don't have anything or have come from other countries, those are the same type of, those are the most humble people. Yeah. And you, you know, know what? what? I think this may be the greatest World Cup ever because I feel like this is going to be the last World Cup that an authoritarian government holds. I don't if, think so. I, I believe so because I'm telling you in the future, remember how I told you that there used to be a 16 count? Well, there was so, a cleanup. There was a cleanup. Yeah, like people. five... Like now, there's still some that are still in the run. Like, but here's the thing. And now that 16 council dissolved. Who now, gets to pick it now? Everyone. Oh, everyone okay, that's okay. a part of the FIFA organization. Like the US, Mexico, and Canada. Oh, shit, that's Post- crazy. So, so they really knew that shit was like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Damn. like, bro, a lot of people got to get locked up. That's Obviously, too much power like for the... a small group. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. why I'm saying... money runs through? And, and that's what the difference between the United States and all of these authoritarian governments. It's not just, you know, the president of China being the greatest and, you know, the wealthiest. In America, we got Elon Musk, we got Bill Gates, all the mm-hmm. all of these, you know... Jeff Bezos, Apple, Tim Cook, all of these motherfuckers are the greatest, you know, authoritarian governments within the United States. Yeah. Basically, corporations yeah. are you now treated as individuals that can, you know, spend as much money in the in the political process with Citizens United. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the main difference between the United States and China. It's it's that there's multiple people that are rich as fuck and can do whatever they want compared to Russia or compared to China, where the only one individual can do that. But you could, you could debate on both areas because, like, even with Russia, they have their oligarchs. And with China, they have, they have like, the hundred but step members. On, but step on Putin's toes and you're yeah. dead. It's that simple. Yeah. Step on, on you know, we are here having Elon Musk uh, exposing Twitter. I mean, exposing uh, Tim Cook mm-hmm. in public. Yeah, but he's, because he's he does have the resources exactly. to fight him. He, He's yeah. not dead tomorrow. Yeah, he got the resources, and that's the main difference between America and China, or you know, Russia. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I feel like this is gonna be the greatest World Cup ever, and the last one, because at the end of the day, mm. now we're gonna get into uh, governments, money, and oh, do we really want to spend two billion on this stadium? Nah, let's just. Didn't spend. they waste like two hundred billion okay, dollars? Exactly. But Qatar is different though, because Qatar had no soccer infrastructure. Right. So, yeah, so they, they had, had to. They're the, only, they're the first country oh, where shit. they're the first no country who is who's. Prof- they're not gonna have profit. They're literally gonna lose money. Exactly. So now oh, we're gonna damn. have two hundred billion dollars. I, I get that they didn't have an infrastructure. That's crazy. Like, I, didn't, like, I mean, so. I they started everything that. from scratch up. I get it. But now we're gonna have a situation where okay, we don't want to spend money at all because now it's the government money. Now it's the people's money actually buying mm-hmm. the the World Cup. And now we're gonna start to see who really can afford it. And we're talking about the governments, not just these authoritarian Bro, governments. Like, I was talking about the, the government shit. It's like you saw how like people say you know money ain't even real bro because it's like to a, you know what i'm saying to a certain extent because bro how the fuck are you know g- the u.s government is so much debt but they're like sending all this money to ukraine like mm-hmm. no i'm saying i feel for ukraine because i know people that are over there you know and it has nothing to do with that but it's it's about priorities man it's just like they send the money over there i'm like well fuck Y'all over here fucking saying you fucking IRS is doing shit. The fuck? Y- welcome y'all to, sending welcome shit? to Trump's campaign, bro. Man, That's bro. all his campaign was about was that like, why the fuck are we going to random ass wars instead of worrying about our people, like American people? And when people, was, and the, the thing, they, the, the honesty, the problem they had with Trump is when he said our people, people always thought he was talking about just white people. And he was what? talking about everybody in America in general. Right. It's like, I'm trying to bring as much money into our, stop us importing stuff, goods and stuff yeah. and, and stop wasting money. Like start, Cutting the budgets on like a- and I think that's that's the part Like whenever you're at that high When you're at that pedestal Right You're so high up there You have to be very careful With your words Yeah Cause yeah. like shit, Especially if you don't use any It could be put out of context You gotta make sure you like Break shit down Like I, But that motherfucker Always just talks out of his ass But like you also gotta like He needs to have a fucking team I'm Like yeah, Well like, that's Yeah, yeah that's yeah, also the thing That yeah. Dave Chappelle The new Did you see that his I didn't get to see Monologue yeah, Like he know. talked about how Like 
The only reason Trump was different is because he okay. explained it. Why well, I'm not gonna go ahead and re- you should, you should Dave pull, Chappelle. pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. It's a but, small. I think I saw a short version of it. Yeah, but it, it his whole premise was about how he literally came out of the house that is corrupt, that we all know is corrupt, which is the government. He came out of that house and pointed to like Hillary to 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 Obama and told them how it was crooked and how he knew it was crooked because he was using those crooked ways in order to not pay taxes or do stuff. He said, "You can you can always work this out by fixing those tax cuts that I can get by fixing the problem, uh, but I know you're not gonna do that because all the people no. that give you money are benefiting from the that shit. That one, that yeah, one. yeah. So uh, he's like, damn, he's calling out everybody. He's yeah, like, yeah. and the word, yeah." Like, I gotta put it up right. It's facts. I just never was like, God damn. But yeah, bro. And then he talks about how like And then he went back and yeah, after that she was like (laughs) uh, you don't pay anything in taxes and he's like well, of course, and you you ain't gonna do nothing about it because most of your donors use the same tax tax uh tax system tax breaks tax laws as I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's yeah. like it's straight facts. Because it's like that's the thing, the whole thing. Y'all pointing fingers, but what you what are you yeah. doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, Hillary playing like shit. If all you hear like someone had told me once, like you are your reputation. So if you hear all that yeah. shit, it's probably for a reason. Now all the fuck, not all the time in certain you know things, but like. Bro, that's just it's just so fucking crooked, bro. And exactly. Like, was was you, there a meme today on Twitter about like how the IRS like? Uh, oh yeah, I, the government. I, I said the, yeah, that to my retreat, friend. They, they look over like uh, insider trading. Is this uh, one? Is it? I said insider trading by members of Congress. They're getting away with this. Hell yeah! Right? The yeah, fucking Venmo they, shit. The they fuck? always attack the small guys, bro. Right? The fuck. Man, we over here just fucking. We over here paying for each other's yeah. meals and shit. The fuck? Yeah, hey, man. They, I forgot my cash. Pay for my meal. Right. The, I think the craziest one is the Nancy Pelosi one, bro. I was like, bro, she has fucking wild. her dude has the best record than any financial advisor. And like, like her, her, her husband has like a like really good record of him like selling low, buying high, or like buying low and selling high, like in stocks. Mm. Because he knows all the news that's gonna happen before he even hits the stock market. Oh you know? shit! And and they're doing it like freely, like like nothing. Because even though it's is it even illegal? I think it's illegal. It's illegal, illegal, but you can't really like prove it. Prove it in the yeah, in the court. Yeah, yeah. 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 And but she's been know? asked, mm-hmm. and she's been asked. She's like, um, to that point, as he said, she said, yeah, yeah. And at this point, it's like it's somebody supposed to be receiving like maybe one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to pay her, like her her. Like what she is worth, or like what she they pay her is that her salary? Instead, she's making millions of dollars, bro. Like uh, like off of these speeches and the insider trader. Her husband's making so much money off of yeah, yeah. Like this is one girl I follow. Her name's like Erica something. Erica. Oh yeah, yeah. And she's the one like, oh, I follow Erica. Da 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 da. Yeah. And so like she like she's a lawyer, so she reads like all these like agreement and 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 terms and stuff for like she was like you look at her page and she's like, oh yeah, I go to Apple and I can get. A free new pair of of AirPods, if da 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 da, because it says that in there. So they have those little loopholes and a lot of a lot of contracts and agreements, yeah. a lot of loopholes. But for it's sure, like, it's dope how she how she like exposes shit. Because you know, exactly. like man, a lot of these fucking places are the ones that are taking advantage of us. Cause, right, you and know? you know, like you said, nobody's gonna take the time to read all those exactly. fucking terms and services. Go through that shit, like, huh, hold on, let me. Yeah. I want to buy this iPhone. I need it bad. My phone's broke, but give don't me like two days. Whenever Apple finna hit you with oh, it's, it's hey, two replaces, fu- three hundred. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. get fucked over when you do your Apple uh, or you're not your Apple, your music. Uh, your music contract. The contract, music contract bro. bro. Oh, fuck no. Music is the, the don't good get thing. Raped either, the <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> business ever, hey, bro. I said, don't get raped either, bro. <laughs> 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 you seen that video? 
Oh, wait, wait. Some, no. some rapper was talking <laughs> about... <laughs> nah, I don't know. Hey, yeah. What you watching? <laughs> nah, some rapper was talking about... Some rappers. rapper was talking about how some, some of these rappers that they get on them 360 deals is because they do some crazy shit with them. They like they drug them and then they... Yeah, they Same video. thing with politicians. Like, they, supposedly they take people to, you know, secluded areas, drug them up, get them fucking crazy, and then blackmail. 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 Black black and I'll then they have to... Up, them Hell no. You just yeah, gotta be on point that. all the time. That's not like, I can't see myself. Like, management, yeah. But, like, yeah, management, yeah. But not, not to, like, be signed full on to, like, a full on label. Nah, like, I can't see myself. Because, like, you know, like, shit, if yeah. I'm making that much noise, why do I gotta sign a label? That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 the whole point of it. So, and you're gonna be like, sweetie, bro, why selling two, two, two hey, who's that? Hey, who's that girl? She dated Quavo. Did oh, never mind. I'm top. What's that girl with the with the like? She's like oh, the girl with that, curly hair. The Drake, Drake, ones, Drake uh, said something about like ice spice. Ice spice. Yeah. I was that like, who the fuck is she? Like she had that that uh that Munch song. I, oh, I see some shit about it. That's why he said uh, you thought I was feeling you or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know what you're talking about. She's not yeah, that cute, bro. You're a munch or what? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. What does that even term? That term even mean? What? What does that term even mean? Munch. Uh. And, oh, he's a munch. He's like a pussy a sucker. eater. Like he just eats <laughs> pussy. Like, like, I see. Oh, I see. That's what it was. I see someone say something. Like some dude was saying, "Oh yeah, like I'm a munch." Like he said that shit all proud. Bro, like, she bro, 22. Just, bro. Weird as fuck. I'm a munch. When you a dude saying, "I'm a, nah," she don't look good at all, bro. She just got a fat ass. That's it. Even that's, then, bro, that's that ain't it. saving you. Exactly, bro. Well, they, did not Drake say in the album like something like she, she a ten? She but, a ten, but. Uh, so listen to her raps on mute or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit like that. I don't think he was talking about her. I think he was talking about Meg. Everybody nah. was tr- trying to say that it was yeah, because of she her. Even, she even her or Meg. Her, her like, or Meg. <laughs> bro, she, you can't say that shit was not about Meg, bro. Nah, nah he, told, he said Meg about the shooting shit. Yeah, yeah, that? that's what I'm saying. But like, Lil, supposedly, no, Lil Yachty supposedly has said yeah. that. That was on my bro. Y'all are some fucking idiots, bro. Uh, Y'all are some damn liars, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's like y'all seen I've OJ. I've never actually listened to that. No, nah, I've, I've only seen her photo. I've only seen her Just the fucking memes bro, and shit. Like OJ Simpson, I said something the other day, like, I feel uncomfortable living because I think I'm, I might be next to whoever did it. Like, that's like them saying, like, nah, we ain't talking about Magic Stallion. <laughs> like, you talking about the shot and everything. Like, and then, like, last thing that I was going to say, did y'all see that at Kyrie Irving thing? Yeah. The. Oh, yeah. What did y'all, how'd y'all see it? What y'all see about it? I thought it was fucked up uh, about how they 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 went against it or like the amount of rules they made him do and come back and especially Nike dropping him and stuff. Because um, I think the whole point of him was was learning his roots and stuff. Yeah. And it ended up... Oh, you did talk about that. Here, yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did see you talking But about I feel that. like we were all just kind of like... But you were... Fuck? Yeah, because that's what you had said. Like, I think he just didn't know how to say it. Yeah. Right? And that's, that's what was, the whole thing I was saying before, right? Like, Trump probably t- saying certain things. Kyrie was saying certain. That's why I was saying because I want to get to that topic. But like, mm-hmm. you got to you, when you have that, you really have to make sure you say certain things in a certain yeah. way. But I mean, like, like when, when you Kanye think about it, like, shit, like you right now talking, sometimes you like you go from one topic to another topic. Imagine saying something so important and then you go off topic. Like Kanye yeah. does this all the time, where he like talking about a really good point. And then he gets off topic and he forgets about that good point he was hitting. But see, at. like, if you got no, I don't know, me, you got to prepare yourself for that topic. Like, that's yeah. why I don't talk about Exactly. Things. You got to prepare yourself to talk about those things, yeah. right? So you exactly. got to be like, man, like, hey, oh, slave, you know, he said, he, when Kanye said that slavery was a choice. Exactly. Like, you have to, bro, what the fuck are you saying? You better fucking back that shit up with the most. Because these, I mean, I'm sure like, the years. Well, you but know, the thing with Kyrie, Kyrie, that that time when he got interviewed, it was right after a game. So he's over here expecting that, like, to like and he can't talk yeah, about yeah, the yeah. game. So it kind of is gonna throw him off. He's not gonna be prepared to talk about exactly. that. Me personally, I'd be like, hey, look, man. Me personally, if I like, yeah, I, I would be like, nah, man, I'm not talking about that right now. Not not the right time. Can we talk about the game? We yeah. talk about the game. Like, you exactly. Know, we can talk about that another time after like, game press conference. You know, after something, but like, like I feel like the media also tries to get at him too. Oh, they know they what the fuck they do. Like, yeah, that's back, what he had told them. Right? When he came back the two, the the second or the first game after he came back, I think it was right before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. And they asked him, "Is like, are you going to celebrate Thanksgiving?" Even though they know he's talked about this publicly, how he doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving because he's his uh, part Native American, yeah, yeah, and yeah. obviously Thanksgiving is based on like how the thirteen colonies or whatever they yeah, yeah. like committed. Genocide or whatever to yeah. Native Americans. So, like, they know he doesn't fuck with it. Yeah, they, they at ask him, him. They're picking yeah, at him. Yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, let me see if I get him to. And he's like, you know what? Everybody celebrate. Everybody have a good day. Eat your. 
turkey and stuff. And they kept and on trying got, to ask him. Like, he it was a different reporter. You could tell her in his head, he's like, man, these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers like, trying me, bro. Yeah, like, exactly. That's and, the thing, but you can't, people got really like, man, they get asked, like, me, even fighters, right? Me and my brother talk about this all the time. We get asked the same question over and over. It's like, oh, how's your training camp? Oh, how's it, you know, fire training side by side with your brother? Like, I love my brother, but it's like, we don't want to talk about that shit all the time. It's the same fucking questions. And imagine yeah. going through a season with 82 games. How many times are you going to be asked the same fucking shit? How did you overcome different that? Different scenarios and different things. Like, you know, like when Greg Popovich is the head, asked him, like, how did y'all lose? Or, you know, I lose. Like, fuck, they fucking score more they baskets, score more dumbass. Points. Like, what the fuck <laughs> you think? You know, so yeah. that's, it's kind of like, I can see how some they get flustered and get frustrated. Yeah. Like, you know, like, bro, you got done with the game and y'all asked me this dumbass shit. Like, I feel like, I can see why a lot of them and people, some people might not understand, no, oh, well, it comes with the territory. I'm like, yeah, it comes with the territory, but it doesn't, whenever you sign up for basketball, you need to sign up to ask dumbass, getting asked dumbass shit all the fucking time. Like, that's not what I fucking sign. I asked, to, I asked to play the game, play the game and ask me about basketball. Cause that's what you, we're talking press con post game press conference, we're talking about the fucking mm -hmm. game. Like, you know, yeah. why are you telling me about like, oh, you're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? That's none of your business. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I like that's why I like I love watching Marshawn Lynch. And I think interviews, people bro. nowadays they, they forget that people fuck up, you know, that they're all Yeah, here. bro. Like and shit. Like they 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 get hold to a pedestal where like, bro, anybody's gonna fuck up being in that stage. Like, yeah, the money comes with it and like the backlash you're gonna get it it's For it's sure. a, it's a yeah. it's a con of it. If you had a fucking camera in front of you all the time, like Do you know on, how many bro. times you're gonna say some wash shit. Yeah, but that's, the, that shit. that's the thing though. These interviews are by contract, you have to do them. And if you don't do them, you still get fined. So that's where I'm at where like, okay, the NBA Associ uh, Players Association yeah, needs to step up and do something about it. How are you going to let your boy Curry be asked these wild questions knowing that he is Curry. a Muslim? Curry. I mean, uh, Curry. Curry. Yeah. Why are you uh, allowing Kyrie to be asked these questions knowing they know that he's a Muslim and, you know, he's yeah. gonna, you know, say what he believes? Yeah. It's just, it's just dumb. So that's why I'm like, okay, let me think. JJ Reddick, he has a great podcast. Where has a, co a controversy come out of that? Not, yeah. I, I can't well, recall. It's not in the NBA anymore. But that's the point. It's yeah. still media. It's still, you know, his uh, former and current NBA players coming and talking about the yeah, game. Talking about the league and shit. Even or, talking you know. about other players. But they don't really yeah. get into those topics, no? They do. No, they don't get into those topics. Like, no, they do. That, the that's what I'm saying. Stuff? No, it's no, mostly no. about like oh what happened in this but scenario but that's the point then... that's the point why is the media asking those questions whereas okay if JJ well, Reddick the media from the media side is because they're trying to get clicks because they exactly, know exactly but react. then who who is the one inviting the media press yeah, like, the hey, NBA you know, association there, hey hey uh you don't have to answer that question next. Exactly. Maybe have well, that, that would have been the right the right answer, but yeah. he didn't choose that. But and that's also, having some like if he yeah, that would be his good response. But that's what makes up there. That's what makes reporters great too. Yeah, Some yeah. reporters great because well, they once they hook you yeah. and they yeah, get yeah. you, it's like, but like fuck how, you know how like and, and court right? You know the judge said, the judge is saying uh you know or someone say oh, object you know hearsay yeah All right, okay whatever 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 the fuck they say right but that question should have not you know followed up with you know him almost yeah. getting fired yeah. and so that's what I'm they should 000. have somebody up there to be like no to check on. next question oh I see what you're saying yeah, basically yeah, yeah. a lawyer next to you yeah, saying exactly. you know what so, no. yeah. or or just someone for all the players that not just for cool. Kyrie you're right. shit or NBA yeah. player hey I'm gonna hire you I'm gonna pay you yeah, I got the fucking bread uh, you know what, you know what I'm saying? that like, kind of reminds me of the Obama interpreter the, the yeah, 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 yeah the what the, there was a uh, Kim Spiel yeah Kim, Kim Spiel there yeah, was bro, a, like that's that's smart like have have a guy that's in a because then y'all making you know the reporters are just making the players look bad now the only thing I can say that could, in a way, I just barely came to thought or came to mind is that you can expose someone that could be on some fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, you know, someone, let's say it's a dude who's fucking racist mm -hmm. and then racist towards whatever. Exactly. We've we seen about. owners lose complete teams, multi-billion dollar teams because of, like you said, some fucked up racist yeah, shit yeah, that yeah. they've said on their personal. Exactly. And then it's brought to yeah, the league. Yeah. So like that's understandable because like, all right, now that's some shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you're bringing it out, right? That was behind closed doors. You were being full on fucked up. Yeah, now, exactly. He has beliefs. I from what I had did and or from what I had watched and seen and the research I did when I I got I fell into that whole rabbit hole. I was watching all these Kyrie interviews. <laughs> like he wasn't trying to come off that way. Like yeah. he wasn't trying to, but his delivery and his choice of words was poor. Just kind of what Kanye did. I had watched this. I thought that video was new. Again, that's why I don't keep up with it. Yeah. That old video when he was in the TMZ uh, office and shit. The slavery one. And then the dude would talk to him and shit and he got let go because of some later shit. For sure. But He's checking him about it, bro. You can't be doing that. Like you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't be but, saying those things. But that's where we were at. He should have not done that with you know the media. He should have done that with JJ Reddick. 
that's where like we need to understand now that there yeah, is yeah, yeah. There, but hindsight's 2020 now like mm, you were baited sh- into it there shouldn't be there should it, it shouldn't be at this point it's if, always it's always good to look back and be like dang i should have done that i should have done this but like yeah, in yeah. the moment okay but who's next then if it's not going to have to respond exactly like, at what point are we going to learn that the media is not for you to benefit from. They're trying to, yeah. Da- benefit they're off trying of to you. ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, exactly. It's they're not trying to benefit them. They're gonna benefit off of you. They're yeah, gonna they benefit the off of you. Good. You know exactly. Saying? They're gonna drag you down, even if they don't want to. They're gonna do it regardless because that's their job. Cl- it's, it's all clickbait, bro. It's I mean, their job. See some shit Get like, that ad revenue. <laughs> hell yeah. So, yeah but they're, they're, they, they're not gonna stop it because it benefits NBA. Because, it, it is. Why? It should stop it because because it makes them watch more games. You think the NBA was like? It's all right. We gotta stop this. No, heck no. They were like about any like what is the saying of like a good promotion or like bad any one? any all promotion is good promotion yeah right? promotion oh, yeah. Is good promotion that's the same shit thinks as nba like yeah they're but gonna talk that's about what i'm saying they're gonna watch the Brooklyn nets game next time they're gonna try to whatever the jewish what? people were in the in the front they're like posting to everything them is, like them is the nba knows used, what yeah. will generate money yeah, bro. bro yeah it's like but, yeah it's all it's all because of money it's all it's all it all goes back to money bro it's like because Shit, people were tuning into games and shit. Oh, like I'm, you know, the Brooklyn. Is he gonna play? You know, and then and then of course the reporters, the actual fucking TV reporters, talking about. Oh, well, you know, he's. Uh, oh, back to you, so and so. Yeah, this <laughs> fucking da da da. He's anti-Semitic. Da, da. Yeah, hey, man, what the fuck? Like y'all just. It's crazy because I never, I didn't even know what anti-Semitic was. I never mm. heard like so. What are these fucking terms? Like supposedly the whole LGBTQ shit. Like, uh, what's her name? Demi Lovato. Yeah. Um, yeah. she has said something like. You're wild woman, she's bro. like <laughs> says she doesn't she's not even a, a thing or whatever I don't even oh, know yeah. how to yeah, this. F- like when did that shit even happen and that shit I feel kinda, like that girl's crazy not because of the LGBTQ yeah. her choice all or whatever just because like <laughs> because of drug bro, so choices. many guys have dated her and then like they all drop <laughs> her like. within like weeks I'm like bro something's wrong with that girl sure. you guys what I'm saying like whenever you like that yeah, you're of that stature. Like, I get the celebrity lifestyle is probably different. Whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Hollywood. But, yeah, but whenever you, let's say on a another girl, right? It's just a bad bitch and a guy like shit. Like, man, she marks everything off. Yeah. Like outside looking in, I mean, some gotta be right now. Some things, but like if you, all right, man, you fucking you 38, you still fine. Is this shit going on? Are you multiple relationships? Something shit went down. Up. Something's up with you. Come on. I mean, it's the same meme where it's like, uh, I can't believe you're uh, you're single, and then like three months later, you find out where she was always single. <laughs> yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just that's just the truth, and that's that's why, like, oh man, that, or the, that, or the fucking when you're on a date with a girl and she's telling her about her ex, and you find out she's the problem. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Wait a minute, like, man. Yeah, that shit don't make sense. Like, yeah, that shit. But see, like, girls, girls' perspective of things are wrong. And they're and to them, yeah. And like men have perspective of things, and nothing wrong to us because, like, yeah. you know how they say men are so like simple minded. Like, bro, we're like really just don't. We're trying we're, to keep the peace. We're trying to keep the peace. We don't think, bro. We really just don't think. Like, we just do shit. You know what I'm saying? We just do things. So simplistic, bro. Huh? Like, when it comes to like solving something, it's so simple. Like, bro, the first option facts. we have, we're gonna go for it. Yeah. And like, if it, if it's a proper thing to resolve whatever problem we have, Mike, like, we're like simple with our problem fixing, you know. And I feel like girls. Think about everything before they even Bro, make a solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My girl, she she literally had had to tell me like, whenever I'm venting to you, it's not that I want the problem solved. Like, because I'll be like, all right, do this solution, solution. She's like, I'm just I just want to talk to you and tell you all this and that. And I'm like, damn, dude, my my guy mind frame is just like solution. All right, all right. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. problem, solution. So I've like I've tried to I try to get better at it, right? But it's like saying when someone's talking to me, right, boy, girl, whoever. Do you do you sometimes I can like I remember I'm like is do you want me to respond or yeah. are you just venting or like are you asking for advice or you just or you just need a, you just Let need it some out. ears you know what I'm saying yeah. you just need some ears or you need a response to it because I don't like telling people what to do but I rather advise you know what I'm saying yeah. I say, hey bro yeah. like this is wrong this is right do as you please right right um because then you know people always go back to well fuck that motherfucker told me what to do <laughs> this is your fault you know you told me to do it but like guys are just so. Bro, we like, and there's all these memes about how guys are. We just, you know, how like my girl, my girl thinks I'm doing my homies are really doing some like dumb, <laughs> yeah, shit. Some dumb shit, bro. Because yeah. like when I'm on the phone with my boys, like I was on, the, I was on Facebook with two of my homies because we're planning to go on a, on a trip in January to Colorado, right? Nice, nice. man, run that shit. Ten out of ten, recommend. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going with my my videographer because there's yeah. this, there's this uh, song I have called Golden Ticket, mm. and I I kind of like like I said, Rawa is a big uh, inspiration of mine and a big influence. So like I wanted to, I kind of want to make a full vlog style. Vlog music style video. music video where me with my boys. We, he has some film of us in the in the uh the studio. Nice. He has me when I'm shooting some behind the scenes shit. And yeah. then like shit, I want him like bro. We flying, 
shit, catch me like shit, rolling my bags to the gate. Us, if we got passed out the gate tired, yeah, get get that us on the plane. We out there getting whatever, fucking getting sure. lit, da 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 da. The whole thing, you know what I'm saying? And I think that shit's gonna be just fucking dope, right? But like I tell people, like girls, girls think of things like so they just fucking overthink shit, bro. Yeah, it's just like you know, and, for sure. And, and guys don't, guys don't even like really like, you know, yeah. We they don't need that. Like they have their homies they talk to, right? Like I was talking to my homies today, and we're just shooting the shit, bro. Talking about the most dumb shit, frowning <laughs> on each other, saying funny ass shit. Yep. For two hours, dog, on Facetime. Facts. But, but I feel like girls need more. They need like a, a lot of substance to talk about. Mm. Not saying that guys can't get deep or they don't have no because there's there's homies I talk to my boy hippie, bro. Everything we talk about is on some deep positive shit. All the time. So I love talking to my boy Hippie because I always, and then there's the homies he talked about just some dumb ass some shit. Dumb like, shit. if so I tell my boys all the time, bro, if people know or were to hear our conversation, they would think me and you are the dumbest motherfuckers ever. You know what I'm saying? But, so, you know. Did you hear about um, Mr. Beast's girlfriend? So she, she Ooh. Mr. Beast. Who's that? Mr. Beast. You know who Mr. Beast is? It's a huge YouTuber. I'm sure you've heard of him. Look at the, you don't know who did Oh, that dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. brother showed me him. Yeah, he so, did that, that uh, Squid Game shit. That, uh, that's whenever I found out about it. Exactly. Yeah. So Mr. Beast is one of the him. biggest YouTubers. So I know who he is, bro. His girlfriend went on a podcast and they asked her, how did you meet Mr. Beast? And then she was all like, honestly, like it's it was a whole lot of work just to like date him. So he basically sent her like a whole, you know, questionnaire, like if it was a whole job. Oh shit! Like a, oh, yeah, yeah, a job yeah, interview, yeah. like a yeah, a yeah, survey, you, yeah. Survey. I, I heard this on Nelk from his perspective. Exactly, uh. and I'm like, you know what? If I was in his shoes, I would not even try to like do that because <laughs> I like know I wouldn't even try to do that I because know your questionnaire is going to be. Can you make 10k a month? That's all I need to know. Exactly. I wouldn't even try like, to do that be, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly I wouldn't even try to do that because I feel like it ruins the fun <laughs> of the <laughs> relationship yeah. of nah and then you'd be the type to pass a note when you were young and say, you want to be my girlfriend yes or no <laughs> check yes you want to lick my gooch <laughs> <laughs> yes or yes <laughs> yes or yes <laughs> exactly so that's what I'm saying like uh, would you do that would you basically have a, an application to be the girlfriend? Well, to I mean, him, it's different. He's weird. And also, <laughs> I feel like he's rich as fuck. So he, he gotta, needs to know. Because you know I think some of the things was like, interest. Do you like to read? Do you like to this and that? Like, it was all like specific fucking things that but he But I mean, wanted. that's actually cool. Because like, at least she don't know. She could probably do her research on him and like, oh, well, what is he like? Okay, I'm going to try to say yes. Because, you know, some people can lie, but. Best thing for you is like, hey, shit, he ain't gonna waste your time. Don't waste his time. Answer the yeah, questions. That, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't saying? waste time because some girls, you like, you you're already like not saying smashing, but like you already meet them or talking to them and stuff, and and you end up figuring out that you got nothing in common. It's like, fuck, yeah, like, okay, I, really I, have I see that what you're saying, you about, bro. I see yeah. what you're saying. It it saves time. It, you don't waste Especially each other's time. This motherfucker, look, 114 million subscribers. He's always probably on go. Like, I get so it. Does this girl look good or not? I, I he didn't. He didn't show on the on the podcast, no, so I don't know. Is she good or not, Alan? That's right. That's her. He a munch. He a munch. Nah. So I think she stayed in like South South uh, Africa, no? Something like that, yeah. Because he would travel like eighteen hours yeah, to go something see like that. I mean, she ain't like. Yeah, she's ready. Okay, so I would say this though. I get it that it saves each other's time. You know, you don't waste no one's time. That are they married? I probably now but uh -huh. point is is that I get that you don't waste each other's time but I I, I don't know I, I wouldn't do that I wouldn't ask a little too much on like putting on a piece of paper way too much man yeah. way too much it was a, it was a long questionnaire or yeah probably gonna be like a whole 20, uh, 20 page question yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking right but I I, I wouldn't do that I, I would I would I would do this Instagram is the greatest dating app because <laughs> you can see everything that they've done yeah. and everywhere that they where they've gone because who was who doesn't like want to flex for a second, who doesn't want to flex where you I know, was just Instagram. about to say whenever I was trying to find a job one of them was um like a uh, what is it called matchmaking freaking company mm -hmm. for like shit. rich people right and it was like like you mentioned so many questions about certain interests and shit like that so it's like I I feel like because someone's super wealthy or time is very valuable yeah. they just want to get to the point yeah, yeah they, they just, just let me know yes or no and on top of that they just want to know yes or no exactly they have a lot of possessions that feel like people might come after so it's like i want to know about this because i like this i don't like that okay yeah. i can at least go now i can go off of this and then now we can work off of that which i mean actually 
<laughs> He's not like maybe not I'm, a, I'm gonna do that actually. That's that's not not a bad idea, like bro. doctors, lawyers, like you know, rich. Like super what do you believe in? Because what if a girl might she might say to you in the beginning like oh like no nah, I think no nah, I want to have a family. Okay, yeah. you say it right, but then when no nah, like, nah, like, th- that's a deal breaker, right? Like if you don't have a family, that's a deal breaker. So let it down the road, you find out. Well, I don't think I want a family. Mm. Damn, we've been together five fucking years. What you talking five about? Five years. You know, like that's some shit that happens. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. I may have had a lot of failed relationships, so maybe you're right. <laughs> shit, <laughs> so hey, maybe so I'll take it. Like nah, you so said, I, shit. but it's a good point that you brought Instagram too, because like you said, it is a good dating app, but maybe long term wise, it might not get to the I see what you're the saying. result that you want. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? In the sense of like the questionnaire, like, you're not gonna know, it's, it's not more, gonna know what, what she really likes. Oh, you're saying yeah, you're yeah. not gonna get deeper into that with the questions. Like questions, like because yeah, they might say that, but you know what I'm saying that might. I always tell people, look, you got you. You're never gonna love a person, love everything about a person, a hundred percent. Facts, right? So you have to overweigh the good has to overweigh the bad. Can you can you honestly truly keep up with be, handle and 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 tolerate this shit? Because this yeah. shit of this person might not ever change. Mm-hmm. They might try. They might go back to it sometime. Can you handle that? Now it's up to you to decide. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like when you find an apartment, right? Or you find a house. Man, I wanted, man, this apartment don't have like, oh, I wanted black fucking cabinets. This shit don't have, cab- but everything else, the fucking dish, yeah. everything's dope. You wanted a, a third floor, you wanted a balcony that, but man, my, the, the cabinets ain't fucking yeah. the one, what I wanted. So, so that's you really want to change That's it why up? I didn't want the questionnaire because I don't want to like basically have everything perfect. I don't want that. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't want perfect. Yeah, but yeah. that's the reason why I didn't want yeah. the question. But that's maybe- why I say opposites attract, bro. Like opposites attract, but like, like Mm-hmm. You know, because you, you, you <laughs> either, know, either yeah. way, either way, I'm already in a relationship, have yeah, a kid, yeah. and all that stuff. But me personally, <laughs> a lot of questions, bro. I know, right? <laughs> me, me personally, yeah. I'm like, damn, bro. Because I mean, I, people have perceptions like, nah, like I think a lot of things in common, but I feel like yeah. that could that could be boring. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like let's say Experience some people love things. the the new. I, I love you know when you have someone with you know with the the music. I like the same music. That's cool because y'all can both like vibe and shit. Yeah. But like, I think it's also cool whenever you put someone on an art. Like, you don't like hip hop? Come on, like try this art. Come oh, you on, like, here. listen to this. That's listen that's that. a cool pleasure out of exactly. Right? It's, it's like, like yeah. I could not date myself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't date someone that's just like me, annoying, all that crap. I'm not playing, exactly. but point is, is that. Exactly. <laughs> so you see what I mean? <laughs> Ain't no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> you, know what you, you know what, Alan? You know what, Alan spells? You change the words up. What's up? Ain't no. <laughs> oh, you're right though. <laughs> so you see exactly. <laughs> we can't do that because I do. I like that. You guys yeah. like that. Nah. I'm right. <laughs> <You> see, <laughs> no Alan, baby. Hell no. So I, I I see what you're saying, man. Op- opposites attract for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is really, like I said. There's so many ways to look at it, really. But yeah. like, that's why. Like, <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? My relationship, but it's it's it's, it's you also have to um you have to learn from it, right? But no one's ever perfect. But I feel like I've 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 been through a lot of shit where that's when a lot of my songs and music I talk about that shit so mm. I have like a lot of times you'll hear me refer to certain things and a, certain girls in my in my past might think that oh he's talking about me but like it's not always about you I've, I've dealt with we've yeah, probably all dealt with different things about a girl that it's always happened like we probably had a girl that just get on our fucking nerves or would accuse us or would you know all kinds yeah, of things get that. on our nerves or shit you, you know and you said this about me I thought you that Whip We've out the questionnaire, saying. man. I feel like yeah. you have to whip out the questionnaire, man. We we two different people uh, for Question, sure. Questionnaire. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, you watch Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> you cool Pornhub. <laughs> nah, man. But uh, let's just wrap it up because we're running out of memory for sure. Oh, so nah, man. But it was great having you for sure, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that you come back because, like, man, it's gonna be the fourth time, fifth time. I don't care, yeah, bro. Yeah, you coming yeah. back, man? Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, bro. <clears throat> nah, it's always a good time when I'm with y'all, bro. For real. Like it's just easy for sure, to talk man. about this shit, but uh. Shit, before shit, anyone forgets, December 9th, the project drops this yeah, Friday. Yeah. I don't know if the video's going to drop yet, but <laughs> off topic, um, we'll be dropping. That's the single on the project. So I have two singles that are dropped on that same project. Bring me back, off topic, and then um, bring me back the whole project. It's going to be December 9th. I'm excited for that. And like next year, oh, January 6th, my performance ex- under XB Valentine's show, the post at River East in Fort Worth. You can buy the tickets now. Um, hit me up on Instagram, AlexRinko95, uh, to hit me up. So all the tickets and stuff like that, I can send you the links for the Eventbrite. But uh, also, I appreciate everybody who supports my music, just supports me in general, boxing. Also, personal trainers. So if you're trying to you know, lose weight, get right, learn boxing, hit me up with that. But shout out to y'all too, bro. 
You know, y'all, y'all shit. I always, I don't really watch podcasts, bro. I don't get into it, but I really fuck with y'all shit. And I'm not <laughs> saying that, bro. Like, I wouldn't come back or even, you know what I'm saying, hit you up and shit like that because like, I actually enjoy being here. The conversations are normal. Like, I'm not yeah, afraid yeah. to talk. Like, on another podcast, I'm like, oh, pornography. Yeah. Pornography. Like, you know? The sin. The shit. Yeah, the sin. right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking holy water and shit. <laughs> but nah, bro. Like, uh, I enjoy talking about this shit. 